and allegations are true, man. I don't seen it all. I seen Tasha K sit down with women and dog out brothers. I seen Shay Shay sit down with Cat Williams and dog out brothers. Now they saying that Cat Williams and Tasha K was supposed to come together and do the interview, not only of the century, but of existence. And it got canceled because allegedly Dave Chappelle is in his feelings. They refused to let Cat sit down with Tasha K because Shay Shay was trying to make sure that Cat wasn't drinking too much alcohol. But y'all know Tasha K was gonna let him drink the whole bottle. But it's looking like that's not gonna be happening. Have y'all noticed that ain't nobody seen Cat Williams since the club Shay Shay interview? You ain't seen him out and about, walking his dog. TMZ ain't ran up on him since the interview. And it got people wondering, it's a possibility that Steve Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer, Dave Chappelle, and all the other people that he mentioned is a part of a club, just like he said they was. They talking about Cat Got Cloned, y'all. Oh and Tasha K gonna be next, but they ain't got enough melanin in the facility to duplicate her ass. Cedric the Entertainer been dirty macking. He been cheating on his wife with big head freaks. They calling the chick he was cheating with Hetty Murphy. Stephen A. Bitch. And no disrespect to her, because I'm pretty sure she's a beautiful person. But she sat down with Tasha K and told it all. Kevin Hart messed around and sued Tasha K. And he's scared his little ass got a restraining order because he seen that video when Tasha K was beating up on them grown men down in Miami. Steve Harvey so old, he really don't know or care about what the hell is going on. As long as he got on a fresh pair of diapers, he don't give a shit about what cat would be talking about, man. Yo, y'all need to do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're going to talk about this interview that was supposed to go down because if it would have went down, that little Shay Shay interview did 60 mil, but y'all know that Tasha K interview was gonna at least do like 500 milli. Ain't that a billion? Y'all gonna have to let me know. Let me give y'all the shout out real quick before we get into all these allegations and speculations, man. Kane Greens is in the building. Thank you for joining the channel, my brother. Peta Noonan, Lovely Bay. Y'all got stupid names and I don't sip the whole gallon of Hennessy, so I ain't gonna be able to do it. I'm going to keep it simple. QS. I could definitely read that. And everybody else, leave them comments so I can attempt to give y'all a shout out. But let's get back to this right fast. The most messiest people in the world was set to collide and do an interview that was going to blow your mind. It was going to be a heist job. They knew after they did that interview, they would have had to leave town, leave the country, and never come back again. Tasha K would have had the money to pay Cardi B off. Oh she could have paid off her debt and moved to Africa and exposed people from a remote location. Now she ain't gonna be able to do that because Dave Chappelle don't got his feelings because Cat Williams was talking about black comedians and he feel like his livelihood is being threatened because he been corny for the longest, man cracking trans jokes they calling him the barack obama of comedy oh he don't give a damn about black people and since cat speaking up and letting people know the real he trying to keep people sleep and if a tasha k interview would have popped off with cat williams it would have been armageddon and people are already sick of black entertainers especially after cat said steve was wearing a man unit oh that left a bitter taste in my mouth Cause they really up there living like clowns. I understand they supposed to be comedians. Even the chicks they be messing with be busted. Somebody got to draw the line. Cat got to be the realest one out of all of them. Y'all need to listen at this. Reg, set that up. Go ahead. All right, so I'm really excited about this interview. Because <laughs> it's like Pandora's box. It is. You know, it is. Cedric the Entertainer. Mm -hmm. You are Nikki Sanders. I am. 
Yo, Tasha K need to go, man. You don't do no shit like this. You pull up. She look like Cedric the Entertainer. And that's supposed to be his side chick. That might be his daughter. What in the Alabama going on here, man? She got the Al B. Shore, Stephen A. Smith blowout. And Tasha K gave her a platform to speak on Seti. I could see if she was, and I ain't trying to disrespect this woman or nothing like that. I could see if she looked like Tissa Tells or something like that. She could Tissa Tell all my business. She, she fucking up the game. And that's the reason why she getting sued. And a lot of people saying that Cat Williams is doing the same thing. And that's why my question for y'all is, did Cat go too far on the Club Shay Shay interview? Because I ain't never seen Dave Chappelle getting his feelings like that. And he was sounding like Cat Williams spatting his face by calling out comedians. And you figure they do have a sorority fraternity situation going on in the comedy world. So if they all supposed to be brothers, whatever they going through, they got to keep that between each other and love on one another. Was Dave wrong for going off on Cat? Because Cat went off on Cedric the Entertainer and all of these men old. And all they trying to do is live out the rest of their days because they put their work down and cat out there digging up their roots, shitting on them, beating on them and treating them like they ain't never have to do nothing to get to where they at. Like they ain't never take no opportunities. Did cat take it too far on Club Shay Shay? That's my question. And did Tasha K take it too far bringing all these hood rats onto her show with these allegations about these celebrity males? If they would have did the interview and if they still do the interview, it's going to be pandemonium. It's already old ladies getting hit by cars because people don't know when to slow down. What is the world coming to, man? We supposed to respect our elders. Cedric the Entertainer pushing 70. This shit got to stop. They said they used special effects on her just to make her look crazy like that. That's a filter y'all looking at. Tasha K. Dirty. She did the Stephen A. I'll be sure blowout filter on this chick just to make her look crazy. And by making her look crazy, that makes Cedric the Entertainer look crazy. And you know, Cat Williams all for the jokes and games. They could have made up some shit. I'm kind of glad the interview didn't happen, but I know y'all would have been happy to see it. But that's Negro here, no there. Reggie, go on play what she talking about right fast. Damn. Now you weren't the girlfriend. I am. I, uh, hold on, because okay, I, I want to okay. do the intro that you told me when yes. you got on the phone. Okay. So absolutely. you say you weren't the girlfriend, mm -hmm. you weren't the side chick, mm -hmm. you weren't the wife. No. You were the main chick. I was the main chick. Ooh! What? It looked like he cuffing his own booty. The fuck? She got on the phone with Tasha K being real messy. Like I wasn't the first chick. I wasn't the last chick. I wasn't the side chick. I wasn't his wife. I was a booty call. Ooh. Oh my goodness. For real, you was giving up that booty to set you to entertain a girl. Come on the show. Tell us how you threw that ass back for Seti. Okay, I used to do the three-point stance. Okay, all right, we could work with that. He black as fuck, he work. Ain't that kind of cold-blooded, man? As long as she, bl the blacker the better, she want to expose the, the Negroes. She done with the light-skinned fellas. They don't get that much of a buzz. She looking for the, if Bernie Mac was still alive, Tasha K would have all his hoes lined up. All right, bitch, I see what you're doing. It ain't funny. I don't like it. He wouldn't even have sued Tasha K. He would have went down there and straight smacked her in her mouth. With D.L. Hughley as the getaway driver, man. Look at her head. Shit. 
she better be happy he ain't eat her ass with them chicken legs. Look at her chicken legs. He feeling on her two piece and her biscuit. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> like I said, the phone lines open. Y'all need to let me know. Did Cat take it too far? Cause Cedric was walking off into the sunset. So was Steve Harvey, Dave Chappelle, all the people he mentioned, Ricky Smiley, they all got gray beards. They hunched over, they just trying to walk off into the sunset. And here come Cat, dragging their ass in front of all of these young people that don't know shit and willing to take his word for it because he got on a big ass chain. Let's be real. If it wasn't for that big ass chain around Cat Williams' neck, people wouldn't have been feeling him like that. He made sure he was Fendi to, he looked like a young rich nigga out there. He appealing to the young idiots of the world and Dave Chappelle just can't stand it. Like you gotta stick to your morals, you know, we did, we did. I played a clown, I dressed up like a girl, whatever it takes to get the money. Integrity is the last thing go bye bye. Write me a check. And Cat is going against a whole system, man. What are you? And they trying to get the Drano and get rid of this guy, man. Y'all need to listen at what Dave Chappelle had to say about it because a lot of people jumping on Dave, and I was one of the people going hard on Dave Chappelle. But the more I think about it, Maybe Dave got a point because a lot of people get paid off of being sluts and hoes oh and you messing with the pimping. If you trying to wake up the lames, if it were for lames, it wouldn't be no pimps or no hoes. So if cat keep on with this, it's going to be a wrap for everybody. You might be a lame for staying on your jaw for not, and you ain't even get a raise. We talked about it last night on Docs Daily. I suggest y'all get over there and check it out because it was one of the deepest videos of the year. Y'all thought the Club Shay Shay video was deep, but this one right here really broke into some deep stuff, man. And the one about Marlon Wayans being in his feelings because Cat Williams told him he got a bussy and he the king of drag. Y'all need to watch that one too, man. But let's get back to some real stuff. Somebody gonna wind up getting shot. And as old as they is, I don't think none of them gonna be able to survive. If Steve Harvey catch a bullet, he just gonna spin around and lay it down. Marjorie Harvey, she gonna run to the bank that same day. Like I need it all. If Cedric, the entertainer, gets shot his ass, you think he gonna be acting like Denzel on training day? Hell no. Nah. As soon as the gun pop, that's when he gonna flop. And this should never lead to that, man. Bro, it's already enough violence in the world. Y'all supposed to be comedians. Laugh that shit out. We got BMW days in the building, man. He remember them days he had that BMW. It's been a long time, but he's still getting around. Pretty for your thoughts is here. And did I mention QS? Ain't she so pretty? We got Liam Jones. I'm Tivius Banks. What it do, brother? Rob away, Renee, Lovely Bay, and everybody else watching the video. Okay, let's get back to some real stuff. Ain't nothing wrong with having a brotherhood in Hollywood. It ain't nothing wrong with having a brotherhood nowhere. So did Cat go too far on Club Shay Shay? Because if Tasha K would have did the interview, he would have showed his whole ass like Prince and y'all still would have been kissing his hairy butt cheeks. They saying Dave Chappelle decided to pull the plug. He got connections to all of the higher ups. Dave Chappelle got the phone number to Netflix. He be going to baseball games with Elon Musk. Kanye West, Kanye West is one of his best buddies. So he could get away and pull some strings and shut everybody up, make everybody sit down and be quiet if he wanted to. And people would listen to Daddy Dave. He'd been cracking the whip 
for a long ass time and people didn't even know he was an overseer in the culture. It's levels to this shit, man. People with money, especially black people with money. <sighs> for the fans and the masses out there, y'all ain't shit. They don't give a damn about y'all, especially when they start putting on dresses or whatnot. But that's Negro here nor there. Yo, Reg, answer that real quick. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, what's up, Sean? Is he? What's going on, brother, man? We over here talking about it was a possibility that Cat Williams was going to sit down with Tasha K. Now, you know that would have been massive. That would have helped that sister get out her debt. She could have paid back Cardi B. It would have put her channel back on top. But at the same time, it would have been a big, messy disaster. Nah, yeah, I, I agree with that. But um, I don't know. I think a lot of these comics, like, they don't want to be seen as sellouts. So they don't want to be on these, like, you know, talk shows on YouTube, you know. <laughs> Bro, what, is, yeah. what exactly is we talking about right now? Like, you know, Dave Chappelle, like, man, he don't want to lower himself to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you said Dave Chappelle don't want to. Um, Bro, we going to have to. Get, matter of fact, take this from the top, Reg. I want to thank everybody out there for watching. Now, I'm, my man, is he about to get himself together, right? And, and answer the question I'm going to ask him. And I know he's an intelligent brother, man. And he called in. He always showing me some love. So we going to take this from the top. I'm going to ask him the question. And he going to be eloquent with his answer, man. The question is this, brother. Did Cat take it too far on Club Shay Shay? Because it's a whole bunch of people out there. And he hurt their feelings and their family. Cedric the Entertainer got kids, grandkids, Steve Harvey. Kids, grandkids, uncles, aunties. People they support and taking care of. People they employing. People that they work with, people in Hollywood that's fond of these people. He it's some messy stuff to even be speaking on brothers of power like that. They saying that cat took it too far. Do you feel like he took it too far on the show? I do, man. I do, Sean. Let me tell you why. Like, for me, he just was like that guy that's like mad at the world, you know, just calling everybody out, making money. Calling everybody yeah. out. And yeah. making money in the process. You see, for me, I think Cat, like, he was talking about all the movies he's been in. But those were, like, movies 10 years ago, Sean. <laughs> we, we haven't seen him in anything. Yeah, so, man. But so you I know what? The, when you uh, see one of them comedians too much, you know it's something fishy going on. Remember when Kevin Hart was back-to-back -back movies, specials? You just He was plastered all on the side of buses and shit. Like, damn. Kevin Hart everywhere, and ain't nobody even asking for this guy. But you see, though, Sean, everybody said that he a plant, right? But then, like, I look at, like, a guy like you, like, Sean Blaze, man, you come up on YouTube, and you, you hot, bro, you know what I'm saying? So that's the same thing what happened to Hart. He, that boy hot, let him make his money, you know? He been partying with Diddy back. Every time you see Kevin Hart, he had a Diddy party. Back to back, back to back. <laughs> Diddy and Kevin, they interviewing Usher. Zesty interviews and shit. They all on the boat. Kevin Hart and Diddy. Kevin Hart in the back with his shirt off at the Diddy party. You take a picture of Diddy and you do the damn editing on the picture. Kevin Hart going to be in that picture somewhere, man. What's okay, that all about, bro? Okay, I, I, I'm glad you brought that up, Sean. Okay, so Cat's kind of like that friend you bring to the club that just pays for his entrance and doesn't pay for the bottle, Sean. <laughs> he's, just, he's just that friend. Oh and Kevin Hart, goodness. he'd be buying bottles too like Diddy. So, you know, why would you invite the guy that don't buy no bottles? Bro, you missing the point. Diddy is a freak <laughs> offer. That's what he do. He have freak offs with men and he'll let a man bang his chick he wanted he do it all people bring their kids to get groomed by diddy and every person he don't groomed don't went platinum double platinum triple platinum so he know what the fuck he be doing he will break you into a superstar have you in there screaming 
<laughs> can you imagine yeah. Kevin Hart phone coming out of his mouth? I can't take it. I can't. I just can't take it. I can't. I, I, I can't do it. I can't, Diddy. I, I can't take it. No, no. I, oh, I can't take it, Diddy. I, oh, you got me. You got me. You know what? I'm ready to do another movie. I, I, I'm ready to go. Like, let's do the meeting. Hey, how you doing? I'm Kevin Hart. I, I, I like you. You like me. Do you like me? I like you. Okay, we like each other. Okay, well, 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 what you want me to do? What you want me to say? He will break your ass in. Yeah, that's not cool. But... <laughs> <laughs> I still think, you know, like, yeah, Sean, like, have you ever had that one rich friend you hang around with, Sean, that he be buying all the bottles? And I don't gave you too book. many chances to be a real one. Don't you know Cat <laughs> Williams is the yeah. king out here in these streets? We ain't got time to be corny, man. If you ain't talking no real nigga rap, we ain't trying to hear that. You cracking Dave Chappelle jokes. It's the year of the cat. You gonna have to look. You gonna have to get some swag about yourself and say it like you mean it, man. Cause we ain't doing that no more, man. And even if you zest, you could still participate in the year of the cat. Yeah. You gonna have to wake up, bro, God. because your car. God. No, you had your chances, man. Every time I let I you talk, you said some so Scooby Doo movie. nonsense, man. And I appreciate the fact that you called in. I'm trying to do a five star <laughs> presentation. You over there giggling and all that. I appreciate you. Call back another time, man. I, I had to turn the screen pink when he called and hit. Man, turn it. Get that shit out of here, bro. Yo, fix the screen, man, because he don't. I don't know what he on. He's still in that little Nas X era. I'm trying to let him know we don't moved on to Cat Williams now. He's still on his little Nas X shit. God bless him, man. And thank him so much for the phone call as well. But like I was saying, Cedric had him a two piece and a biscuit. Look at her head. Come on, Sid. If you want to go bowling, that's all you had to say, man. He got her ass in the house. He lay her on the floor. She's like, oh, it's about to be some freaky shit. This nigga go in the closet and pull out a bowling ball on her ass. Oh my ah, say, what you doing? Bam. Calling my mama. You better call the doctor first. He gripping on the two piece and the biscuit. The little chicken, them chicken thighs. And Tasha K had the nerve to bring her on the show. 50 years later to talk shit about some shit she did with this man in the 80s. This is disgust. Why do y'all women do stuff like this, man? Y'all want to wait till your booty get laid out and played out. And the only thing that work is your mouth and you want to run it. About something that happened like. 50 years ago. Like, you couldn't bust it open like that if you tried. And that's the reason why you mad. Because you know you ain't got it no more. And you can't pull a Cedric the Entertainer no more. Hold on. Yo, Raj, answer the phone, bro. Hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hello? It's Kim. What's going on? Who this be? It's Kim. Oh, man, we so glad you called in. You called in at the right time, too, because I was getting off into some serious things. It was a possibility, allegedly, that Cat Williams and Tasha K was going to do an interview together. And you know that would have broke the You know that would have broke the internet. You know that would have broke the internet. What you got to say about that? Why? Well, I don't think Cat would have sat down with Tasha K. Oh. You don't think he would have been feeling her? No, not at all. And I think she would have been trying to take the punches at him and he would have had to do her like he did Wanda. That would have been good. She need that shit. She need all of that. All of they it. need it, but he don't. Hey, man, some people out there need it. She they... need it, but he don't. But why would he go to her platform when he can go to somebody else besides Willie B? We all know he did a fucked up so, you know, You know why yeah. he need to do it? Because Cat got nine kids, and he know a thing about people with kids, man. Sometimes you got to do shit for the people with kids. Because a lot of their kids... Selling out. A lot of people's kids so be messed up in the game, man. A lot of people' kids what? be messed up, and they need to see something real fucked up just to help them get through the week, man. So if Cat Williams would have sat down with Tasha K, it would have put a smile on a lot of people's hearts out there. And I, I've watched Tasha K a few times. I mean, she's hilarious. She makes me laugh sometimes. But her sit-down interviews, no. 
I don't think that would be would have been a good fit for oh, man, him. Man, don't be hating on. I'm, you see, you don't understand I what like I'm that. trying to do here, man. I'm trying to create some traction so Cat and Tasha K could actually get together and all that. Because they said <laughs> it's a possibility, but hey, I'm just giving you the imagery. Like, hey, what if they did sit down and have a big conversation? I'm pretty sure it would be I a classic. You just got done saying it would be a bad idea. Oh my goodness. Okay. If, if you want to say, well, let's let's take it this way. In my personal humble opinion, I would say it would be a bad look for him. If you're saying, you know, for people with kids and all this, never with Tasha K. Yeah, I don't think Kat will ever do it. But someone like her, she thinks she's a little Wendy Williams. So, yeah, I mean, he would cut her, cut her ass up. But I, it would be. You know, it'll make her ratings go up, and yeah, she needs the money. You know what, sister? The Wendy Williams Oprah Winfrey days is over. That's why Jennifer Hudson looked real stupid sitting down with a Jennifer Hudson show. Like people really about to be all up into that. Only people sixty and over. That's her demographic. If you ain't on Insta, you ain't on TikTok with the T, you ain't on YouTube, and you ain't Tasha K in it. Don't nobody give a damn, man. Them, day, them good old wholesome sit down uh -huh. and talk days, Queen Latifah show shit. So that you is like dead. Show, you think that's, you it's think it's, it's, it's dead. It's, it's, a old, it's for old people. Old people will sit and watch that shit. Tasha K bring? Tasha K bring? bring the ratchet. It's, it's all about that sauce. She mix it up. She got it tasting like ramen noodles out here in these gossip streets. Oh you know Tasha K is on Tasha got that sauce. You can't, you can't deny Tasha hit you with that flavor. You'd be like, oh, that shit was tangy and it was ratchet. Oh my goodness. Yes, he's ratchet. Don't and he's you ratchet. like it. And you like the fact that she a rat she ratchet, she loud, she I ignorant, do, and do. she make you giggle. She does. That's she that's what she that's what she, that's what she do. She know what, what time it is. Y'all need to know what time it is. I'm saying though, for Cat Williams, she wouldn't I don't think he would ever on her show. He would it be a good show? It would, would, would be, it be, it would be delicious. His ratchet it, it, with her it ratchet. Would, it would be very interesting. I don't think it would get as many views. The flavor would be popping. Are you trying to deny it? No, I ain't denying it. She does some good interviews. I've seen a few. Some of the people I don't get to watch, like, a, I don't know, like, a, a lot of these little rappers, I don't know. We ain't talking about no so. rappers, man. We talking about Tasha K, the queen of messy. The messy he lady with Cat Cat Williams. He the king of now, messy right now. He the like, king of messy. The, considering all the stuff that has happened and all the comedians that have been talking shit about him, yeah, this would be a good, it would be a good thing. You know, if he wanted to go on that show, it would, it would boost up that already. That would definitely be a good thing, man. And hopefully he do. But if he don't, you know, it's always going to be in our thoughts that it probably would have been a good show, man. And I want to let you know, I got so much love for you, my sister. That's why the next time when I go live, you definitely got to call back because I love your conversation. And I'm looking forward to that. And don't be no stranger. Uh -huh. No, no doubt. We're going to holler at you later, my real talk. How y'all feel about it, man? Because something got to give. Tasha K, she going through it right now. People suing her left and right. I'm trying to pull one for my sister, you know? Oh, my goodness. Get the conversation going. Cat Williams, where you at? Tasha K, pull up on her. It's going to be... You thought that Club Shay Shay was a classic, boy? You ain't going to top that with Willie D. And shout out to Willie D, man. You ain't going to top that with nobody. You will never surpass Shay Shay. Shay Shay going to be your daddy. If you don't top that interview, man. They treating Shay Shay and Kat like Kobe and Shaq, man. Oh they won the championship. They trying to three-peat. I don't think they going to be able to do it. The only way Kat going to be able to win another chip is if he get traded to the winos or whatever. And yeah, he put up 30, he put up, he got to put up 80 with Tasha K. That's the only way he going to be the GOAT. And I want to see it go, damn. Yo, hello, hello, who this is, man? 
What up, bro? This is J-Mo, man, from Winston-Salem. No doubt. We got people from Winston-Salem in the building. That's how you know the video is real. Whatever's on your mind, brother, we all is. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to need you to cut that. that off in the background, too. That don't... Yeah. Okay, okay. No doubt. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like Cat took it too far because this shit been going on for a long time since, since Tupac said something about it and nobody was listening to him. Yeah, but Tupac and Cat got a whole lot in common. Like, y'all talking shit about an industry that y'all clearly a part of and y'all was on some zesty zesty before y'all started getting gangster gangster. Yeah, well, Tupac was in it, but see, Cat, Cat, I, I don't believe Cat ever was a part of it because I felt they felt like Cat was gonna be a part of it because he came to the industry with a perm, a little ass nigga, so they thought he'd be an easy catch. But his 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 twisted point was on Friday when they thought they had him when when Man. Damon was in the bathroom with him. That ain't it. I, I tell you this story about Cat, man. I need everybody to listen to this. Cat right. Williams had limited opportunities in Hollywood because when they see him, he's a he's a short guy that looked like a pimp. So what you going to cast him? What's going to be a good? He went to plenty of auditions. He went to the Big Mama's house audition with Martin Lawrence. And was up in there talking about, well, why can't we be this? Why can't we be Janet as why was they was <laughs> they was about to pass on his ass like all the other people passed on him and he started making suggestions. Like, okay, well, this ain't working. Well, what about we be some mobsters or something? And they got his ass up out of there. All the movies he was in, they casted him because he fit what they needed for the movie. The Friday was looking for a pimp. He showed up, of course, he gonna get that role. And all the other movies, he was a pimp. He that's he finally started to get some range, but before then, before he found his range, yeah. it was passing on his ass. So you think he did the same shit that everybody else did? His shit just ain't came out yet. Man, he was willing. He talking about he went to one of them weird parties with Ludacris, and one yeah. of them had the. Uh, for 200 milli, one had to shave their head, do all this shit. If they would have selected him over Ludacris, he would have been like, pa -pa, pa -pa. he would have been in all of the Fast and Furious movies <laughs> with a low cut, but they decided to go with Luda because Quincy Jones is his man's. Okay. Okay. That's he was there. A lot better. He was yeah. there. He was willing. You don't show up to a job interview if you're not trying to get the job who who gonna do something like that you don't want the and job you so you show up right to the interview too, and if you don't know what the job about why you going you talking about when he went with martin he ain't know it was gonna be martin bust out with big mama's part too like they ain't he ain't discuss or tell him what it was gonna be he knew what it was gonna be they just decided yeah. to go with another option and the other option he threw him under the bus talking about, I told them to go get Brandon T. Jackson. That's the one y'all want. <laughs> Just to spite him because he mad because he got the role over him. The same thing with Ludacris. He wanted to spite Ludacris because they gave him the role over him. Yeah. He make it, and this is another thing, bro. He make it seem like he the only one that show up to the audition. Oh it be a line around the block for audition man just because you showed up don't mean that you're gonna get the role if you want it somebody I turned it down 50 million four different times that's like going on the flavor of love you mean to tell me you was the finalist on every season you just that great yeah i, I feel what you're saying now sean you just the greatest actor and when you step in the room when it comes to acting in Hollywood, they of course you're gonna get the role because you a better actor than Ludacris, you a better actor than the dude that played in Big Mamas, you a better actor, you more convincing than everybody. When you come in the room, you just a goat like that. Let me ask you this, Sean, right quick before you go. Do do you think that they gonna that he gonna end up getting killed by someone? 
Oh, no, bro. We don't do that, man. No, 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 man. Not cat. We ain't. Well, no. We don't wish death on well, nobody, bro. I'm surprised no, you even no, asked not that wish, question. Not, not wishing death on them, but no. you know you know how they've been trying to do people like when they start talking to, when they feel like they're talking too much. No, man. Cat, cat going to be all right, bro. You know, they just, they uh, and they like feelings cat, and shit. Yeah, everybody like, don't nobody want to see that happen with cat. Because if that happened, it'd be a sad day. And, man, people would turn their TV. It'd be a sad day. We don't want to see that. We love Cat. Nah, yeah, I do too, bro. Word up. That's like my favorite comedian other than Mike Epps, man. We know he going through it and all that, but he get up there. He like the Joker, man. He he doing his damn... Cat <laughs> going to tell it, man. Cat going to tell it. He okay. going to get up there and tell, man. But he ain't telling everything, though. And that's the way he able to get around with saying this shit because if Cedric nut up and tell it all, yeah. it's going to be bad for said because shh, you not supposed to tell. Shh. That's the whole point of them having brotherhoods and clicks and shit. Shh, don't. If he open his mouth, he going to go against the order and Dave Chappelle okay. really going to fart. Like you imbeciles, okay. I am your king. How dare you defy <laughs> the rules of comedy? I've been doing this since I was young. You saw what they did to me. He act like he a soldier scorn in the comedy world. When the truth is, they'll do anything for a dollar. Yeah. You're right, bro. And you can't blame Hollywood for that. You can't blame them executives because if their integrity was stronger, they need black people in movies. So they would have to switch it up. Like we ain't got nobody that's willing to take these roles. So we gonna have to, you know, up the standards, you yeah. know, we gonna have to start offering them shit that's more dignified. Cause they ain't going for it. But these, these people, they still willing to go for it. And it hurt. That's why I don't like watching that shit like that. I mean, it's the norm, but it ain't right. They be doing some, it'd be some bad acting going on in Hollywood. Like yeah, bad yeah. black act. It's like this acting is so bad. Like they ain't got no integrity in the work that they do. Like they don't even take the shit seriously. Where they just do anything. As long as they paying, they, yeah. they'll throw your ass in there and you could, you know, get it together and get your check and get your shine and all that. You just a face. They ain't got no a soul. Face for the moment. A face for the moment, like a whore. <laughs> That's messed up, man. They, they ain't, we ain't got no standouts. Nowhere. We got a whole new generation. We got like four new generations here, and we still talking about cat. Oh my yeah. You mean to tell me nobody of any of these new generations is notable to have a conversation about that people really care about? So if little baby go on Club Shay Shay. He ain't gonna be able to get more views than old ass okay. Cat Williams. You're right, too, bro. Goes, Cause they ain't got no substance. Cat got substance, man. And we ain't seen substance in shit in a long ass time. The people with substance is getting old and gray. Yeah. That's some right, sad bro. shit. Like, where is the new talents? Where is the new Michael Jackson? Where is the new uh james brown where is the new um classical actresses out there you ain't got we ain't got nobody to really champion right now yeah, like you said they faces for right now bro for the moment for the check for the bag get money <laughs> it's 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 foolish man people will really do anything for a dollar and i get it you gotta do what you gotta do to pay the bills but at least have some integrity about your ass while you get into the money. But you can't get to the money if you got integrity like that. Oh my goodness. They're going to fire your money. ass. Yo, integrity. They're going to yeah. Monique your ass. Yeah, so yeah. Black ball, you kick you out. You got your head up a little too high and them balls swinging a little too fast, partner. Oh they're going to check you at the gate and snatch your badge. And tell you you can't come in the building no more. It's cold blooded, man. But it is you over there about to cry, man. I'm just trying to keep it real. 
I done struck a nerve. You think about all them times you got fired and all. It ain't even that deep, man. Get out your feelings. I got so much love for you. And don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back the next time we go live, man. He got silent and took a deep breath, man. I ain't about to have him panic on my show. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? This is um, Black Lily. I'm loving that. And whatever you got to say, I'm pretty sure I'm be loving that too. Let us hear it. Well, I just, um, I wanted to say a lot of these stars that are claiming um, Illuminati or aluminum foil or whatever it is they're claiming, they're doing it to stay relevant, okay? Um, The worst news is the best news. People are doing this because it it makes them appear, um, I'll say third Okay, we're going to have to find some structure right now. I'll let Mm -hmm. you get on here and do your (laughs) own thing. And you went to the left, to the right, and then came back to the front, and then you was going to the back. So we're going to have to bring some structure to this conversation right here, man. My question for the people... For the viewers, for the listeners, my question is, did Cat take it too far on Club Shay Shay? Because he was dishing these people out left and right like they ain't got people that love them. Like they ain't got fans. Steve Harvey got a lot of fans and I just so happen to be one of them. And I ain't changing that because Cat Williams went viral. It was people Ooh. that was fans of all of these people. Um, Ricky Smiley, people loved him a month ago. Now they like, oh, Forget Ricky Smiley. I'm rolling with Cat. Well, I'll say this, and I said the same thing to my husband. I think that each one of those paid him a nice little lump sum of money to speak as he spoke to keep them relevant. Because look at, uh, we started looking at those same stars all over again. Now, the best news is the worst news. Okay, no news is good news but the worst news is the best news and each one of them and this is my personal opinion paid him to mention their name because there's so many others he could have mentioned that didn't even get a a a, a shout out so each one of them sister it it really ain't father it ain't that deep Mm -hmm. It really, you don't think so? It is not. But yet and still, yet and not, still, we, ain't that deep. yet and still, we got all of these mystical, magical agencies that are so-called taking blood off things and everything. You want to know what it is, sister? Deep enough to pay him. You want to know what it is, man? Name? Let's just be mm-hmm. real. It's mm-hmm. 2024. Mm-hmm. January is Capricorn. Cat Williams is the first one to do an interview out of all them dudes, so that make him the GOAT. That's what it adds up to, man. That's as deep as it go. Cat did the interview at the right time. If he would have did that interview last year, November, October, September, it would have not have had the impact that it had. T.D. Jakes went down. All this other stuff went down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just listen to what you just said. Timing is everything, but money is it? You just said that if they had, if he had done that interview two to three months ago, which we don't know that he didn't do it two to three months ago, and it was just released at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of uh, another quarter, okay, financially. See, you, you, you're you still thinking that this is about They talent. said they that they money. dropped it on oh, January. Mm, they said they, they put it out they when they did it. That. They, they talked about it in the interview. Who, who they let who people know it was too. They did in the interview. They said they it was 2024. Did. They did, didn't they? Didn't they? It tell ain't you that, that deep. Yes. Okay. But it's but still, it's deep enough for there to be a magical, mystical agency that is taking blood sacrifices, blood offerings, and taking men's manhood. You need to go it for a walk in nature. Deep. That's what you need. Tomorrow, get out there and go to the park. And hopefully you see a deer or see like some some birds. Go see some birds. The sun is my healing. Yeah, yeah. go see some birds. All I'm saying is this is a clout chasing type of situation. And it ain't that deep. People bored. People bored. People bored. That's all it is. People bored, man. It ain't even that deep. Exactly. Look, you could be be whatever you thinking. 
and however you living, however you feeling, we want you to keep doing that. But we gonna keep the positivity over here. We gonna keep the positivity over here. We gonna keep the whole positivity over here. And I love you to death, sister. And don't you be no stranger. We gonna holler at you later. You, they need to snatch all them phones out the mental institutions. Oh my God. All of them. Soon as I go live, they open up the doors and take off the straight jackets and put quarters in their hands. The only place in America that still got pay phones. Oh and they balling out of control with their nickels and dimes. I will not. Let that dark cloud linger in front of my sunshine, man. Whatever's on your brain, sister, Buddha bless you. And we're going to get back to the show. And I don't mean no disrespect to the callers. Because I love y'all to death. But damn. Yo, hello, okay. hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, yo. Hello? What's going on, ma? How you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling great. Um, I'm calling because... Um, when the other caller was on, they were talking and and also your question about, you know, you said that you're a Steve Harvey fan or whatever, and you weren't changing it. But people fail to realize that when Kat started the interview, he stated he's only talking about these people because they said something about him. And you know what? They all had something to say about him in their previous interviews on the club and that is why he spoke about them and he spoke about Kevin Hart because a lot of people don't realize that in Philadelphia Kevin Hart and Kat did a tour were on a, a same tour together Kevin Hart and him they had like managers that were close Kevin Hart when it seemed when Kat went down Kevin Hart was going around spreading around that Kat had drugs now nobody mentioned Kat was on drugs and so Kevin Hart started spreading it around that's because he know what was going on because he was on tour with him, man. No, because Kevin Hart is a is is his his ex wife Tori is the one that got Kevin Hart because she got pregnant. Now they were both doing comedy. When she got pregnant, she started pushing him, and as soon as he got his first movie, he quit he quit her for his real. But his real was only there to spend his money. So you saying when Kevin got on, he left his wife? Kevin did. Kevin did. Yes. Yeah. Kevin dumped Tori. Tori and Kat were friends. Um, Kevin did Kat the same way Steve tried to do Bernie. You know, Steve went to the ex trying to say Bernie was on drugs. So when Kat got on, he started shitting. No, when Kevin got on, he started shitting on Kat because... He wanted to be the man. He wasn't trying to help him come up with him. Yeah, remember, Kevin was on Wild and Out. And after that, Kevin and Kat was never on Wild and Out at the same time. Damn, so he switched up on his... That was his man's at one point. Well, wow. Tori and Kat was friends. You talking Not about... Kevin. Oh, so Tori. his, his, his yeah, chick... Yeah, they've been friends for oh, about 20 shit. years. Oh, his chick. Yeah. So See, his, oh. Kevin, people don't realize this. Tori got pregnant and started pushing Kevin to do crime. She helped Kevin. But she lot. was originally with Kat? No, she was Kevin's wife. She was pushing. See, Tori had the connection. And Kevin, she pushed Kevin after she got pregnant. Oh, she had connections in the game. Yeah, and Kevin really wasn't like that. She was the one pushing him. But as soon as he got his come up, she he was sleeping. Her. She was sleeping with them Hollywood execs. Like, I got somebody no, for you, Daddy. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't doing none of that. No. I got no. somebody for you, Dad. Don't worry. He's just a friend. He's just no, a friend. Uh -uh. No, she no, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. She was somebody, doing none of she was somebody sugar baby. That's what you're trying to sell to no, the people. No, she wasn't. She was a comedian, just like she was one of Harvey Cameron. Weinstein. She was hanging with Naomi Campbell no. and shit. No, Tori was a comedian 
They you met said, in a they you, met you spread, in a fight. You're spreading all these allegations and speculations about this. No, woman. it's not a no, you it's not crazy. an allegation. You sound you know crazy. what? You can go and no, you can actually go oh, and look it up. She really lives on. You that's can go you, look it up. That's what you selling. She, you can go look it up. Kevin and Tori were met in a class. She is they not met in a class. She is not Lizzo, and that is not how she got Kevin Hart in the game. You over here telling stories. No, I'm not. Go go look it up. I'm Go looking look at it up. I'm looking at it right now. You, it sound like Go you're look lying. it up. It sounds like you're lying. Go look it That's up. That's what I'm, I'm doing. Lying. Go I'm, look it up. I'm looking Tori it up right will now. will tell you that she knew Kevin. She knew Cat for 20 years. They have. They. She knew Cat 20 years ago. Go look it up. Hey man, it is what it is. She knew that man 20 years ago, and it really ain't that deep. Did she hang up? And she, did she get angry? The fuck. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? What, what's up, Sean? This Tom from St. Louis. I called you a couple of times. How you been, man? Oh, man. We over here talking about Cat. Yo, people losing their mind over this Cat Williams guy, and they saying that it's a possibility, allegedly, that him and Tasha K was going. And you know, if they would have did an interview, it would have blew the internet down. Mm-hmm. True. It would have knocked that club Shay Shay out the water. Tasha K jumping on the chair. Cat Williams, he <laughs> acting like he want to fight. Then they make up and get drunk and start talking shit about Will Smith, Chris Rock being the bitch and all. It would have blew the internet down, down, down. All day, bro. I seen the interview, bro. And one thing I peeped it out, he got him drunk, bro. You got uh, you to look at the beginning of uh, before all the kicked out. Cat Williams was giving shots out to the liquor. They liquor kind of smooth, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now he stay sipping. So now you know you sip, you you comfortable. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm gonna keep it real with you, man. This stuff, man, all this stuff, man. Allegedly, you know, we hear a lot of things, man. But he told the truth, man. We in that new age now. You know, we in that new age, man. Where what's done in darkness comes to the light. That's what God said, you know. And sometimes I think Cat Williams accepted being a martyr. You know, you know, you got people. That's exposing aliens man, on, 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 on a bedside, and and and, and you know, he's you know people feel death, man. People feel that, you know, I mean, people feel something wrong. Come on, man. And I think he's trying to all this Cat Williams interview, bro. All this Cat Williams interview did was prove that people is insane in the mid brain. And they willing True. to believe any motherfucking thing, man. They got AI True. putting out celebrity news. Artificial intelligence oh celebrity. Mama. Artificial intelligence right. celebrity news. And people take this shit to the heart. Like, oh, man. it's nothing but facts. True. People will take and a you know story. What? Because people watch movies and shit all day long. Mm -hmm. And they don't know the difference between reality and what entertainment mm -hmm. is. They think... This shit is real. They think love and hip hop True. is real. They think all this shit True. going on is real. True. Well, but what I want to say is, first thing I want to do is give shots out to you and your channel, no man. Doubt. I'm gonna give out to you. I'm gonna give you the love that you do because you you are like like doing a lot of research and you kind of clear air on a lot of things. You make sense on what you're saying because you got all of see documentation be conversation all day. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like going to court. I went to court one day and then I was and I was right, but I ain't had no receipts. No receipts. The other person had receipts. And guess the judge told me, he said, oh, take the conversation all day. That's the name of the game. Man. It's about receipts. It's about receipts. You take something back to the store, if you, if you got their receipt, ain't shit to talk about. All that hugging, we should overcome and hugging. Man, hey, man, all that shit did. The dude know what he's talking about because guess what? He's been in the game. He's in the game. No he, doubt. It is what it is. And on top of that, all the actors is not in Hollywood, man. It's people out here, everyday, regular people. That's hell of a actors, man. I'm talking about the mailman. He put, he got his act together. The whole mailman act. The lady at the store. People that you know. Some people got their best act going on, fooling everybody. But you know, but the thing is, son, you, you, man, ain't nothing you saying. It's wrong, man. You think saying it's right, but like you say, like you say, welcome to the matrix, man. We're welcome, welcome. welcome. And right now, we in the we in that we in that new age. Now it's called the age of enlightenment. You no, know, we are the age of things coming to the light, man. I mean, hey, man, people speaking to God speak to people. 
no through the computer computer. through the computer listen at you through the computer through the computer ai AI. that's what you agreeing with that's what you accepting you bowing down to the to the computer the temples and all that the the macintosh temples that's yeah. what you and, about and, right and, now. And, yeah, and then with us again, you know, they, uh, AI taking on everything, man. This is gonna be a new AI world, oh, man. man. See, y'all ready to be drones? Y'all trying to be archangels and all that, man? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's, people and caught that's, up in the, the uh-huh. loving the sauce, man. The sauce is dripping and people is licking, man. And I get it. People, people want to believe love. the hype. It is what it is, okay. man. But I want to thank you so much for your phone call, brother. And don't be thank no stranger. You, Make sure you call back with all the babies with the TV and all that stuff on in the background. We love you to death, man. I'll ask you later. Real talk, man. We calm it down. Slow it down. And have a little conversation with my people out there, man. Tasha K need our help. All she did was entertain her fans. And she gained a lot of fans. She started to become famous. And with that type of attention, all hell is likely to break loose when you're doing something you ain't got no business doing. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hello. What's going on? What's going on? Speaking on this Cat Williams thing, right? Yeah, that's what we doing. We want to hear what you got to say about it. I got to say about it. And we need you to I, cut that off in the background before you say whatever it is you got to say about it, man. Because it was loud, it. man, and I couldn't even hear you because it was so loud. I, I ain't got nothing playing in the background. And it's still you, on. It's gone out, man. You said you ain't got nothing on but me. I know it's me because I hear myself talking in the background. <laughs> I cut it off. I be trying to do a five star presentation. It be people in Hawaii watching the show. Now they can't even enjoy their Coronas because you had that stuff playing so loud in the background. It be people from Jamaica on vacation on the beach. Got me on the flat screen watching the Sean Blazerton show, and you over there burping with that loud TV in the background. I feel so disrespected. I need you to apologize to Jamaica. We got like, people. I, I apologize. Now no matter they don't even know if you talking now. They can still, still hear me. They can still hear me because you got TV. I need you to apologize. I ain't nothing playing now, man. To I Hawaii. Apologize. You know what, man? All my people in Japan, we gonna get around you. Oh y'all. my God. Go on, say what you gotta say, ma. Okay, what I got to say is about this right here. I think it's the truth has been spoken on Cat William and everything he done said, you know. I think the truth is being exposed because the receipt, he had all receipts. Uh, what you saying about the, oh the computers goodness. being spoken? Who behind the IG, though? People. Oh People is behind it. That's what you think, but I'm here to let you know. You call for customer service. They're going to force you to talk to the AI before you can get around to any human being. Exactly. They want you but, to deal with that shit first because they ain't paying people to do a damn thing that the yeah, AI can't do. So it's almost game over. We in ground zero, man. People gonna have to wake I, up. But it wasn't no AI sitting. It we want no AI sitting on 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 on, on, on sofas though. It was two human beings sitting there talking. But we got to you got to you fail to realize that. Two entertainers, no two entertainers talking. Yeah, two entertainers talking. Yeah, they, might have they was entertained. They, they was drunk. entertaining. That's what they, they came there to do. Yeah, that's what they came there to do. They was getting paid too. You, they were getting paid through YouTube. Yeah, but at the same time, at the same time, it was he was holding back information, but at the same time, he was getting paid, but he was exposing. It was a little, it was a little hate. Look, no, look, grudge thrown out there, but he was exposed was, too. I think it was a little you know too. What it was, sister? You know what it was? It was a little bit of meat for the hyenas out there. Oh yeah, and but y'all still say- barking. Y'all still barking. <laughs> y'all want some more meat? He threw a little bit of meat to the hyenas. Him and Shay Shay fed some food to the dogs, and y'all. <laughs> I know y'all because ain't no y'all. Ate it up, ate it up because like some pigs. He didn't expose. He didn't expose me. Ate it up like some pigs. It's all entertainment. Y'all trying to make it biblical, and it ain't even that deep. 
No, it's not biblical because he put God in it. Y'all Yo, treating him like he Moses because he did an interview with Shay Shay. It's sad. Ain't no y'all. It, it's embarrassing. It got over 60 million views. It's just, listen, it was a listen, spiritual you event. You entertaining it too. It was you spiritual. Getting paid out be, too. Because you entertaining it too. Because it's a spiritual event, man. It's, you we ain't got the church. We ain't got the church. TDJ, he, he gone. He out of here, man. We got cat now. People looking to find their faith in celebrities. People trying to find faith in celebrities now. That's where we at with it. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't, don't, don't that's, put everybody hey, in that category. That's what people doing. People worshiping these celebrities, and Cat Williams is the Christ. No, don't say that. Don't say that. You can't put everybody in that category now. You cat it out right now. You on you on that cat tip? You been don't sniffing that. that cat nip? Because you, you got to say cat, cat say. Cat said that he 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 believe in two sides now. And what you mean by that? What what you you got to know what he meant by that? I don't know, but it sounds like you know, so we need you to tell us. Okay, what I what I think he meant by that? He says two sides is either is the truth or is a lie. He was saying that he believe in God. Uh, that's what you believe. That's how you took it, but I don't take it like that. That's what that's what I believe in. Hey man, cat <laughs> on some other shit. And if you don't see now, that, I don't, man, I, don't hey, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't worship no human being. Hey, now man. we don't want to get into a cat. That boy, Cat Williams, is very <laughs> wise, very wise, a very wise now, man. Now, I, hey, hey, I'm a very wise woman. Now I believe in God. Cat Williams is so on. I don't, I don't hey, worship man. no idol, shit. no idols, no woman, no man. Hey man, now, it's all good. I don't know what the people believe in. It's all but good, man. For as for as uh, what that woman was saying, who yeah. started Kevin off, his wife, she was a comedian. She did start uh, Kevin off. She did know all the people in Hollywood. She was a comedian. Where you from, sister? I, I'm dying to know. From Memphis, Tennessee. Oh shit! Everybody, get low. Get low. <laughs> get low. <laughs> From Memphis, Tennessee. Oh God, I should have never asked. <laughs> Why you say that? Hey man, man, where do I even start? Matter of fact, we ain't even gonna go there with Memphis right now. That's not what we about to do. Cause I got love for Memphis, Tennessee. Hey man, that <laughs> but I'm sauce. But Ohio right now. Hey man, that Memphis sauce. That shit is killing niggas right now. Y'all need to turn it down a notch. Look, I ain't got nothing to do with them folks. I've been out of Memphis for 20 years. <laughs> hey, man, you still got that Memphis in you, though. Yeah, it ain't gonna never leave. Yeah, I ain't got so. nothing to do with God even, what God even got going on down there right now. So, but Dolphin, hey, Dolphin boy. Yeah, and Dolphin, 3 6, and all them dudes that's into yeah. the devil, but you trying to say Cat wouldn't even go that route. I ain't got nothing. Listen, I ain't got nothing to do with them. I, I, I got to protect my soul. Ain't got nothing to do Is with that folks. why you left? Because Three Six Mafia was after you. You had to get up out of there twenty years Hell ago. Hell no, nah, ain't nobody after me. <laughs> DJ Paul and them dudes was trying to find you. What happened? Hell no, nah, they ain't after me. I'm after my damn self. Is Crunchy Black your baby father? That's why you had to get out of Memphis. Hell no, nah, I, I ain't got no baby daddy in Memphis. Okay, you know the chat. <laughs> Yeah, I know uh, LeChad. I don't know it personally, but yeah. It sounds like you want to run, sister. You don't expose yourself. That's I what don't you get. Expose myself. That's what you get for joining the cult. Oh my goodness. I ain't joining no goddamn body. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell my name, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I, now you I, in your feelings. Now you in your feelings. You know I got I them documentations, man. I, look, this shit be coming in the mail. I don't be trying to expose people, but your name is Tawanda, Tawanda Jackson, Bubble Butt Walmart. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming <laughs> that you are uh, voluptuous and you work at Walmart. It's a unemployed at the moment. Hold up. Nah, that don't say nothing about me and like your that. Phone, you got to pay your phone bill. So when I go live tomorrow, you won't be able to call in because tonight at 12 o'clock, you done. On your nah, phone. Nah, that's a lie. On your that's phone. That's a lie. That that's, ain't me. 
that's what it say on your phone bill, man. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Ain't none I, got of me, informa- dog. I got information on people, but one thing. Dog, sure- I promise you can call my phone anything and they'll be off. I love you to death. And you need to know that. Y'all. Real talk. I love you to death, my. And I hope yeah, to- I love you too. Look, man. Ain't nothing like seeing a baby roach. But when I see you call in, it's like seeing the an angel. And that's why I need you to call back. I love you to death, Ma. We're going to holler at you later. No doubt. I call, you be I call good, back. beautiful. Oh, real talk. I need that. I need you to call back because you the goal. Yeah, I'm a support. Hey, you the yeah, greatest. I'm a support. No doubt. Real talk, Ooh. man. So much love for her. And thank her for her phone call, too. Yo, let's talk about this real fast. So, Kevin Hart's baby mother was rocking with Kat. Did he tickle her fancy? Cause she looked like she might be a Prince fan. Like she all about that Prince shit. Purple rain, look at her hair. She always wanted to be vanity when she was a little girl. This her opportunity. She got the cat shirt, look at her shirt. She on team cat. Like that's my guy. She got the 80s vibe, pink nails. You know she a Prince fan. I guess I am the reincarnation of him. They treating him like he Gandhi, but for cat. I mean, but for Prince, man. And you know, people do believe in reincarnation. Like ever since that nigga died, I feel like I've been another person. I wasn't this way in before Prince passed. I swear I wasn't. It's like he came to me, you know, and I have to live with that burden. And I know the beautiful light skinned women want to be with me now. She a Prince fan. So if she was into Prince, Kevin Hart really had to be a Fruit Loop, man. If these allegations is true. Wasn't his own rap name Chocolate Dropper? And he was at a Diddy party chocolate dropping what, man? Oh my goodness. Like Diddy, I got a rap name, man. I think you ought to put me in the game, man. How about this chocolate dropper? Cause you know what I be doing in the hotel rooms, man. Yo, hello, hello, who this is, man? Joe Montana, man. This nigga over here snitching. How you gonna call in and call the police at the same time, man? We heard you dialing them digits. What? It is what it is, man. I don't know if this Takashi Six Nine or whatever, but whatever you got to say, we listening, yo. He said Takashi Six Nine. <laughs> what the fuck? To ca- yo, man, y'all going? Well, you, you and Act be playing on the phone, man. Just go on and say what you got to say, dog. What's the question of the day, man? It is did Cat take it too far? on Club Shay Shay because a lot of people feel like he took it extremely too far going at these comedians and ruining their livelihoods and having people looking at them in disgust, man. Did he take it too far? He exposed people. I mean, they shouldn't have been doing what they were doing. They took it too far. Really, it's all Diddy fault. I blame Diddy for all that. Because once he started going down, when Diddy went down, somebody pissed Cat off too. So, I don't know who pissed Cat off for Christmas. Somebody ain't give him a Christmas present or something because he you came wanna, out. From New <clears> you want to know what it is? Fire. People in the Coliseum wasn't satisfied with the slaughter of Diddy, T.D. Jakes. They needed somebody else to come and finish them off. And Cat came in yeah. with the sword, swinging the Excalibur, and he started. To, he took off more heads for the damn festival, man. Like, yeah! When they seen the blood of Steve Harvey hit the wall, even after witnessing the splatter of TD Jakes, it just intensified the fire. Like, yeah, ludicrous too. Yeah. The the wolves is howling. They loving the slaughter. These black males is dropping like flies. The black Hollywood experience is dead. They l- publicly lynching these brothers out here, man. Because they successful and because they got money and because they 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 think they got it. They're like, oh, you you was at Obama's inauguration? Was you the guy sitting next to Obama when he was in the office and you were skinning and grinning with your Ciroc companies? Wasn't that you that was giving money to the campaign? You motherfucker! 
It's us. It's uh, game over. All I know is over. It's a game over. And black people are like, yeah. Is all I know is Alpha feels like he took it too far. It's like it's the Federation of Doom, like on some wrestling shit. Like Cat Williams, he took down, oh shit, he took down Steve Harvey. Oh, he gave Cedric D the tan elbow. Oh, he gave him the people's elbow. And Cat Williams done won the championship belt. And Steve Harvey and Cedric, they got to crawl their way back to the lockers. And they waiting for an, another opponent. He going to take out about five more legends before it's all over. Like the undisputed uh, heavyweight slaughter man of the world, Cat Williams. Ooh. That nigga hung up. The fuck? I must have heard his. Damn, I heard that brother pride. I don't crushed his Cat Williams dreams. Like I dare you talk about my imaginary father like that. These little boys need nurturing. And Cat look like <laughs> and Cat look like the mama and the daddy. Oh my goodness. Like all I need is Cat. I'm gonna be straight. As long as I put Cat first and stand on business. I don't care about my mom or my dad. I got Cat and that's just how it's gonna be. I ain't got to join no gang, no nothing like that. Long cat, we gonna keep on doing interviews, dog. I don't even care no more about my mama and them. Like, it's all about cat. I'm your mama, I'm your daddy, I'm your brother too. He on his print shit right now. Like, I'm your girlfriend and I'm your man. Cat Williams loving his life right now. Like I nurture the children, that's what I do. I'm a healer. Did you never heard about Cat Williams? Had your grandmama licking her lips in the grocery store like cat. Like, all right now, I'm working with a monster. Anyways, I scared that nigga. He hung up the phone. Like he must be possessed. Scary ass niggas, man. Hold on. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, yo. It's uh, Dr. Willem B. How you doing, man? Yo, man. We over here chilling. And we talking about the possibility of a Cat Williams and Tasha K interview. I think it would be epic. It would get her out of debt. She could pay Cardi B back her money. She can all quit going back and forth to Africa. She could take all that money out of them <laughs> offshore accounts and live like a regular person again. She could get inaugurated back into society. If Cat Williams do this one little favor for Tasha K and I would love to see my sister set free from all of this bondage that the society got her in as a black woman, man, I'm hurting for her. <laughs> Yo, I feel you, man. Uh, I feel the same way, dude. Um, it's for real, though. An uh, interview supposed to happen. Why well, we ain't heard man, it? Shit. They on. talking about Dave Chappelle, them allegedly. They got a club. They shutting shit down out here in these streets. They're like, enough is enough man, with all y'all. Not, not going to do that to the comedian society. They think about starting a union. The cat man, law. The hell with all that union, man. Cat, cat William did not do anything wrong. Um... Don't get it in the kitchen if you can't stand the heat. You know, he verbally assaulted these uh, grown ass, goat smelling ass individuals. They can't handle it, man. You know, he came with the fire. Hey, man. And nobody saying he lied. Nobody say this man lied. That, that's all good in the game. But people got to realize that Steve Harvey and Cedric and all them dudes is on the defense. What they going to do? What we going to do, Sid? What we going to do, Steve? They might have to they pull a move on Cat. They might have to move on Cat. Hey, low key, he surprised me with Cedric, man, because Cedric look like my dad. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know, really. I, I don't look like my dad. I don't look at my dad the same, the same no more. <laughs> Did you have a shit? He looked like my dad too while you over there talking, man. man. You know, I don't like nobody talking about Big Seti like that. It hurt me, man. It yeah, hurt. like come on, dog. Not Big Sad. Big he big heavyweight mus heavyweight musky sad man. That's that's my people's. Yeah, you know, but cat the man, cat the man. 
He the man, oh, bro. Yeah. That. And Steve Harvey too remind me of my uncle. So it's like, damn, how you gonna go at Uncle Steve like that? He old, he doing his thing. You ought to be happy that he's surviving out here. You got bums, crackheads, and shit. Steve got a bag. Let that man live his he life. Made, Steve, Steve always been a hater, and Steve has always been suspicious. You see me? I'm 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 36, man. So I I actually watched Hanging with the Cooper. A lot of these individuals have not watched Hanging with the Cooper. So I watched Hanging with the Cooper. And when Steve Harvey's show came out, I was like, what the hell? This looks just like Hanging with the Cooper. You know, so when Cat Williams dropped and everything Cat Williams said, I, I actually seen it. You know I, what it I, is, bro? It. <laughs> you know what it is? People feel like their opinion matter because they was raised by the TV, man. Like, I was there. You can't tell me I didn't watch Sesame Street. You cannot tell me about this type of stuff because I witnessed it with my own two eyes. So you better know who you're talking to. I was a Sesame Street fan. Like, it yeah, ain't even yeah, that deep. Yeah. People think they got some privilege or some knowledge in Hollywood because they watch shows and shit. Yeah. They part of it, man. It, I don't know. Why would Cat William want to take come out and say all of this stuff out of, every time? I feel like, yo, listen, you can do it. It's a great Ain't nobody gig. saying he lied. It's great promotion. Yeah. It stirs yeah. people up. He got a tour. People fail to realize. People fail to realize. This man got a tour that he's promoting, man. And with this type of promotion, asses will be in them seats. And it's going to be some seats sold out for a grip. And the money is coming to cat. And Club Shay Shay, and they could get in on it if they want to. It could be sponsored by some shit that got something to do with the interview. And he put he put uh, he put Kevin Hart wife ex wife on that man. Sponsorship, you know? man. Sponsorship. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's why they bought him on to promote the tour. Mm. It's going it's down, a, man. Uh, it's a hell of a promotional tool. Going at other comedians who don't want to see the Tupac of comedy. I do. I want Every, to see everybody want to see the pocket comedy. It's yeah. going to be a dangerous show because if Steve come up in there tripping, Cat going to have to run out the back door, man. Like, get your hand out my hey. pocket. It's Steve out there with a 45 in his hand. You think uh, Cat Williams can run uh, 4.9, 4.8? Like he said. They got a video of him jetting, and I think he did beat the clock. All you seen was his perm. His, his perm was flying in the air. He was getting it with his shirt off. Oh man! That nigga said, "Pew!" Yeah. Like he yeah. took off running. Like damn, that boy can he can jet. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> like I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I don't lie about anything. I swear I can do it. So I'll prove to the people I am the champ. <laughs> He got Speedy Gonzalez speed. He a superhero. Fuck Spider-Man. It's all about Cat Williams. He could run up a wall, all that shit. Do a backflip, split. Why is Dave Chappelle butthurt? What's up with him? Like, what the hell is going on with Dave Chappelle? All of a sudden, he butthurt. Dave Chappelle had his Negro wake-up call when Cat Williams did something in one interview that he'd been trying to accomplish for the past 20 years. Dave huh. was looking for acceptance. And that's something that he was trying hard to do. And he figured the only way I can get accepted by my people is if I go at the trans people. that to do it. Yeah, I'll show them that I don't like those jigger wiggers. And that way they'll vote Dave as their champion. And I'll still be able to maintain my core audience, which is white people. He was out there in Ohio scheming on how to be relevant. If I go I at the trans, you. then, you know, It'll have me in barbershop conversations. People to start listening in the hood. And it was a bad marketing scheme. And Cat Williams came out and all he did was say some real nigga shit. And then Dave yeah. got his feelings and did a whole rant with his shirt off like he DMX trying to speak on some real nigga shit and was sounding like a damn fool because Dave, you the furthest thing from a real one. So don't even be speaking on Cat Williams. Hmm. Hmm. That's how I feel uh -huh. about it. That's how I feel about it. And I love Dave Chappelle for what he is and who he is, but you don't hop in this arena, especially when this man ain't do nothing but show you nothing but love. 
He never wanted it with Dave. That surprised me when I heard Dave Chappelle speak. And, and, and whatever he claimed he was mad at or whatever he felt the uh, 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 it, it was it was it was baloney I ain't, I ain't, you know it, it, it no, was not this what happened was confusing. he cracked the corny ass cat williams joke and d ray you know davis laugh? they laughed but d ray davis came up like yo defending cat like yeah. what he did was good he, he told dave that cat bought relevancy to the game he got people talking again. He got people laughing again. Then D. Ray Davis said that people was bored out here before Cat said what he said. So Dave thinking like, shit, I've been doing, what you mean? What you talking about? People been bored. You trying to say my comedy is boring? And that's when Dave tried to turn yeah. up. He tried yeah. to turn up on some real, like he trying to do the real comedy and it, it just bombed bad. Yeah. He tried to add some street flavor to his set. Like, Dave, you don't do street flavor. Your shit is sour cream and chives. Man, Dave, Dave, Dave where did Dave come out other than the Dave Chappelle show? You know? Like, he came out because they elected him to be the black face of comedy because they enjoyed him. It, it's not because we enjoyed Dave Chappelle. They they put him on this high pedestal because they enjoy the shit out of Dave because he was raised up suburban and he's basically one of them. You know, growing up, loser white kids spoke to me about the movie Half-Baked. I never saw that movie Half-Baked until it I grew up. It was a movie up. for I them. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, what is this? This is the corniest movie I ever <laughs> hey, That's what they, they like, the token... <laughs> The token black guy. That's what Dave do for the damn for them, man. <laughs> He's that one black dude that they will be cool hanging with. Like, oh shit, it's me, Bob, Jan, and oh, it's Dave. Like, Don't forget about Dave. He can come to the Dave damn Chappelle. um. He could come along to the festival if he want to. The funniest movie Dave Chappelle has been in was the movie with Martin, and that's it right there. Other than that, I don't know. Can you name one? Man, don't Dave, don't get it twisted. Man. Dave Chappelle is a is a, a genius. He's a genius when it comes to comedy. I know that. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's a he's a comedic genius. Dave Chappelle is very very talented in what he does, but what he does don't have flavor like Bernie Mac. That's all I'm saying. Mm. He, he ain't got Bernie Mac flavor. He ain't got Cat Williams flavor. He ain't, he ain't even got Steve Harvey flavor. His flavor is bland potato salad. And ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it's a bland potato salad. <laughs> Sometimes it be hitting. Sometimes it don't. You don't expect it to hit, but hell, who don't like potato salad? At least it's, it's a, a potato a salad. Yeah. He forced me to leave uh, Cat Williams alone, man. Okay. Yeah, man. They Enjoy that leave. life. No he ain't God. lying. He ain't lying, man. Cat, Cat is the man, but nigga Moses and all that. And yeah. people going to kiss his ass until they get bored with Cat. <laughs> and I, then, then he going to be trying to go viral. Cat. Hey, man, this shit going to flip. People love you one minute and hate you the next. So uh, Cat, he better not be rejoicing in all of this because he know the vultures is vulturing and the wolves is wolving. And the hyenas is hackling and they out there waiting. They just want some blood, man. Forget spilling tea. In 2024, people gonna be spilling blood. Oh on the internet. <clears throat> and it is what it is, man. And we appreciate you for calling too. Don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back, homie. Real talk. Shout out to him. Yo, let me say this before I get out of here. If I ever had the opportunity to meet Dave Chappelle, I would explain to him. That everything I did or said was strictly comedy, entertainment. I got a lot of respect for Dave Chappelle, man. The industry is fucked up, and he figured out a way to play the game. Shit, he understand his opponent. He's like a great boxer, and they respect Dave. He know that we don't like him, but, you know, he plays the game. I like him. Oh, Dave, he's a hard hitter. He's a tough one. You know, you can say the N-word around him. He ain't gonna crack. Dave, my nigga. Like, whatever, George Clooney. Ah, oh, Dave, you're such a tough one. I like you, Dave. You're just, you're just amazing. I want to write you a check. I want to write you a check, Dave. You're just, look at you. Oh, my God, man. 
you know, you just got the spirit of a, of a real champion, you know, a, a great patriot, Dave. We love you. We love you, Dave. I just want to give you this medal because you deserve it, Dave. I love you. Like, you're just good. You're just a good kid. You're, you're a good guy, Dave. We love you. Oh, um, yo, hello, hello. Who just said it? Hey, cut, cut that off. Pretty please. Cut that off. Oh, I'm sorry. That's your channel. Oh, hey, you. hey, Sarah, how oh, are you? What's going on, Ma? How you feeling over there? I snapped on you. I and got all that. through. Yeah, this I... is Corner from Athens. Go Georgia Bulldog again. Oh, that's what it is. That's that's around my way. Hold on, using the round the way girl and all that. Yeah. Okay, I see what's going but, on. Yeah, yeah. Back to the question. Hold on, you ain't no around the way girl at all. How you gonna try to bamboozle me like that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm an Athens girl. Put all that bass in your voice and all that. I ain't got no bass in my voice. Hey, man. We gonna have to start asking yeah, for an idea through. around here. But um, what's on your mind, Ma? Um, I don't think he's wrong for speaking his mind. Because they, they did Cat Williams wrong. And they took his kids away and everything. Nobody's mentioning that, though. You remember he had to adopt the kids, all those kids, when he caught the charges, they took the kids. His kid's grown. So, but still, it don't matter. It still happened to him. So he hurt. When he, I think he's talking from pain because this with is a what chain I think. Around, with, a big, with a big dookie chain around his neck, he talking from pain. Yeah, he don't like that. They some bullshit. And he putting their ass on blast, and I'm glad. It's so easy to keep a black audience, man. All you got to do is be boosy badass, and you're going to be straight. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> if you want to maintain a black audience, you're going to have to be on some Charleston White Rat Williams shit out here in these streets. You could be it's busted. Dead. You ain't got to have no teeth. You could be fucked up. and st You could be a crackhead and still get respect from the hood. Cause exactly. he, because he's a real nigga. Exactly. Hell no. Look, if I had to get on the bus and I had to pick between Cedric Bus, Dave Bus, Cat Bus, and Steve Harvey Bus, I'd be waiting in line for the Steve Harvey or the um the damn Dave Chappelle bus. I ain't trying to get on the cat bus. Oh my goodness. Like, get your ass on this bus now. We're gonna be fighting in the back seat. Like, don't be sitting well, on my side of the bus, nigga. Like, your little ass like better I'll chill the fuck Cat out. Because he's real. And I heard Steve Harvey don't even, he's arrogant like Michael Jordan, attitude arrogant. You get on the so Greyhound. I'll, I'll fuck with Cat Williams. Yeah, get on the Greyhound Cat Williams bus. And y'all get in there <laughs> and had them babies crying and farting and eating noodles and all that on the bus with Cat Williams. I'm going to be over here with the AC. No I'm going to be with the AC on with my feet up, reclined back on the Steve Harvey bus, man. Well, I know that's right. You do your thing, big boss. Thank you for answering my call. No doubt. We got Cat Williams fans out here, and I love it, man. Yeah, and that's yeah. why I'm so glad that you called, because I'm a Cat Williams fan, too. Don't get it twisted. You know, I love Cat like everybody else. And I love right, you, too. Okay. Mwah. And Thank make sure you, you call back. Love no you doubt. All right. Love, love you, too. My real talk, my Mwah. No doubt. Ooh. I'll at you later. Man, I don't know if she got beef or whatever is going to be in these streets, man. I'm looking over my shoulder for that sister. She sound like she with all the smoke. She done rolled up. Ain't no telling what she doing with them kids. She out there in Athens, walking back and forth to the gas station all day with them dirty flip flops on, man. Summer dress on in the winter time with a bubble coat over that and a family dollar with the dandruff dripping in your grocery cart. Like, damn, man, all the tellers back up with them braids. Every time she shake her head, her dandruff be falling all over my groceries, man. But that, <laughs> hey, that's Negro here though, there. <laughs> Thank her so much. <laughs> For her phone call, man. Like I said, this nigga said, <laughs> yo, y'all need to get it together. <laughs> oh, man, that's bad. I done bombed on amateur night.
I'm over here looking stupid, man. <clears throat> it's amateur night and I don't bombed and y'all can't even see me. I need to do a better job. <laughs> I don't work on my act. Talking about these comedians, man. But on the real, Dave Chappelle do got a whole lot of money. And Cat Williams, he really don't want that smoke. Because all them comedians, when they got to pledge their allegiance, they going to have to think, man. You want to follow a rat? I mean, Cat? Or you going to keep on rocking out with Dave, man? You invited to all of the parties. This man got the key to the city. Dave Chappelle hit town. That shit shut down. Men be at the hotel with their wives. Like, Dave, I want you to meet Cindy. Like, your wife for me? Are you serious? Like, my wife for you, Dave. It's for you. I enjoyed your show. Do you mind if I watch? Dave is living the... And so is Steve Harvey. He's freaking Steve Harvey. When he hit the city, the shit shut down, man. Steve Harvey is in town. The mayor is trying to be where Steve Harvey is at. He pull up to McDonald's. <laughs> the mayor hand him his Big Mac and his fries. Like, welcome to our town. What type of town the mayor work at McDonald's. I need to get the hell from around here. Y'all need better employment, education, and school. How in the hell the mayor work at the McDonald's? She just wanted to shake your hand, Steve. Yo, these men got power. Money, fans, fame. Cedric the Entertainer pull up. You would have thought the president was in town. <clears throat> he get out the car like the dude on coming to America. They open the door, start throwing roses at his feet. He get out with a big old lion on his jacket. He walk into the Burger King. <laughs> he, walk <laughs> he walk into the Burger King with the flowers and shit. I want to speak to Mr. McDowell. Cedric is a real life king out here. You know it. If he came to your raggedy ass town, he could probably have all the chicks. And that's all of them. These some bosses that Cat was talking about. Y'all seen the type of chicks Cedric was macking on back in the day. So you already know. Shit, your auntie, your, all of them. You better watch your back. Cause said he on the lookout, man. The auntie that don't nobody want. She in the corner where it's sad. And he gripping on her booty. Hey, man, it is what it is. But I'm going to answer the question. How long we been on here, man? Because I've been waiting for another phone call. Ain't nobody calling. I mean, I ain't even been playing no video. I got a video that I'm supposed to be playing. I'm just ranting. Y'all need to listen at this, though. Comedy for almost 40 years, and I'm only 50 years old. And let me tell you something. I go to the I go to the fucking I go to baby christenings. I go to the weddings. I've gone to the funerals. And what part of the game is this? He only eats the niggas. He didn't say anything about any of these white boys. And none of these white boys function like that. Okay, it is one of the best. You know what? He tried to go the Kanye West route. And if he he was looking for a source to tap into to be a real one. He trying to think of the most real one he been around that he could imitate to pull that real strength up out of his body. And he channeled Kanye West. <sighs> the hardest in his click. Who do I be around? Who I hang with that got that gangster's edge? Like, who can I draw that source of energy to relate to this crowd? The only one he could conjure was Yeezy, and that shit looked bad. This looked like a Kanye West concert, man. Yeezy on stage doing the rant. Dave Chappelle don't do no shit like that. Cat got people out here losing their mind in comedy. Like, we gotta catch the new wave while it's waving, man. Wave Chappelle, that's gonna be his new name in the streets. Yo, hello, hello, who this is, man? Oh, my bad, wrong number. 
goofy ass out of here, man. Like I was saying, Wave Chappelle. <clears throat> he gonna grow out a perm. He gonna be looking like <laughs> he gonna be looking like Max B. So we got it for cheap. Black ass lips. <laughs> he gonna be in Harlem sitting on top of Ferraris and shit. With them chains swinging with Cameron and them dudes hanging around. He on 44th with Jim Jones. Like Dave Wilding. We got it for cheap. He gonna do his whole comedy set talking like Max B. Gotta hate it the way they dressing these niggas. All these trans mans and fans, they bring them rubber bands. <clears throat> Cat done swip. He done got these dudes trying to figure out a new lane, a new vibe, man. <laughs> Wave Chappelle. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, what's up, bro? What's going on, man? How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling good, brother, man. I'm just saying, man, you, you, you're truly the GOAT, man. I'm just enjoying your energy, bro. You feel me? Oh, man, that's amazing. I'm so glad that you're enjoying the show. But you ain't hit the like button. Like I said, man, I got these papers right here. And it can predict when people call. And I know you from the islands and all that because it got the... Um, Come on. Caribbean Come got the, Yeah, it got the flag on the paper and all that. So... You didn't hit the like, but you enjoying the show and uh yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. I do it, man. That's what I you like know it, you man, ain't man. do it, man. And it don't matter right now because you on the phone. And we gotta ask you some I questions, it, man. man. Are you a fan of Cat Williams? Yeah, man, always always, you know. What is it about Cat Williams that you like, bro? Man, I, I just love him energy, you know what I mean? You know, him, 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 him energy, you know, well, you know, I like, you know what I mean? Do you know, do you I, I even like know him. who Cat Williams is, bro? Oh, my well, I don't know personally, but you know what I mean? I watch, you know, movies. So you don't mean? even know who Cat people. Williams is like that? We all know him, you know, as our people, you know what I mean? That's Cat Williams, you know what I mean? I like him, you know what I'm saying? Oh we all like him, man. I like him. I know what this is, man. Yo, I get it. You know, I don't know that much about Buju Bantan either, but I like his music and all that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what it's all about, because I got plenty of reggae artists. I'd be like, I don't have a clue what's going on in their personal life, but they songs be slapping. True, 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 true. No doubt, man. So, you know, we just brothers on different sides of the world man and we yeah. got to get over that you know y'all from over there we from over here type of stuff because on the real when people from america get to jamaica they be testing yeah be like no let it move but about to but like excuse me like you heard me say like, like, oh shit i touch your as a test because you ain't got no mama <laughs> <laughs> bro, your vibes, yo, bro, I love vibes, bro. Real oh, talk, you know. And that's no disrespect to my Caribbean people, man. I just love black people from all over the world. I'm like the National yeah, Geographics when it comes to black people, man. Yeah, yeah. And it's amazing how, you know, black people in different places can relate to each other if they just put down some small differences man it's, just, it's really only a few differences between people but the american people is the biggest disgust amongst all the black people let's be real all the black people that's not from america look at american black people like like a puzzle like like y'all motherfuckers crazy that's how other black folks look at black americans like y'all nuts no, well, honestly, honestly, I won't look at all America like that because, you know, you know, I just say, I we know that we all are one, but everywhere you, you, you're going to meet people who just kind of off, you know what I mean? It's, it's everywhere, you know, you know what I mean? But it, it's just more life and, and love for everyone, you know what I'm saying? It's the cultural differences, man. Caribbean people have a, a culture that's more close to home. 
And, you know, people yeah. in Africa, they still have their culture fully intact. For it. And if you choose to do something else, that's just a choice. And even when people choose to do other stuff, they still stay in touch with their culture, man. So that's something that African-Americans lack. And that's what makes it so yeah. difficult for people to get along with us, man. All right. I feel like I feel like I said. They, they don't teach black history in school of America. Like in America, they don't teach about black history. You know, you know what I mean? It's just a few brothers in America who really hold the high standard when it comes to oneness, black power, black people. It's not all about just wearing the clothes, but it's all a few black brothers who in America who really stand up for truth and righteousness for black. You know what I'm saying? But in all of that, is love for everybody, you know what I'm saying? So you but saying in the teach. schools, and not to cut you off, but you saying in the schools of the Caribbean and other places, they actually teach the black people about black history and black culture? Yes, yes, yes. You <sighs> you're, you're teach, you're teach in Jamaica, yeah. You have to know your history, you know. I never knew. So, I always know. thought, because in our schools, the only thing they teach us about is slavery, and that is it. So you yeah. saying in y'all schools, it's a whole bunch of black culture literature? Yes, yes, man. You have to know yourself, my brother. You know what I mean? If you don't know who you, who you, who you are, you are lost risk. You know what I mean? So you have to teach those people in school. At, at, you know what I mean? Like kindergarten coming up. You know what I mean? That put so us at a huge know. disadvantage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That's cold, but that's kind of sad when you think about it, man. People at a huge disadvantage simply because they don't know their own history, man. They know everybody else's history. They could tell you about Harry Potter. They could tell you about all this shit. They could tell you about the Star Wars trilogy and the fucking all of that bullshit, but don't even know their own that. damn history, man. Yeah, man, you know. But you know, it's just let, let, let me say still, you know, it's just love, you know what I mean? If one of the ones can show love. I, I, honestly, it's not even about color either. You know what I mean? It's love. You know, when, when it's all said and done, if, if you have love for yourself, you can't love the body because most people don't love, don't love. The problem is people don't really love themselves. That's all, all, all this nonsense, you know what I mean? And that's something that starts with the person. We don't even have to do that collectively. People be waiting for us to come together and do something collectively. But in order for that to even happen, you got to find love within yourself. That's the only way you're going to be able to resonate with like-minded people. True, 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 true. Yeah, man. Once you love yourself, then you know how to show love. And then, and then... Once they show love, then everything comes come together. You know what I'm saying? That's the foundation of life, man. Yeah, you man. know, and people lose touch with that and never find their way back to it. And that's why they be stuck. But people glorify the fact that they stuck. They cling on to their problems. They cling on to the past. They cling on to all of this shit that's negative in their life and just hang on to that shit. And that's just where they stay at. Yeah, Virgin, Virgin, it's sad, you know, it's sad to see how things is going on right now in the world, you know what I mean? And like, like I'm saying, it's everywhere, you know, it's sad, you know? And I and I pray for every young man, every young man, young woman, you know, who are really facing the challenges, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's, it's not even a financial problem, it's just lack of love, you know what I mean? People kind of, I don't know. People, um, like again, people don't know how to show love because they don't love themselves. You so everything know, that they play is... You want to know what it is, man. Just, and I ain't trying to cut you off, man, but I'm going to explain to people what it is. People think it's a game out here. That's what people think it is, man. People think life is a game and you just an avatar and you just... It's all about yeah. your profile. It's like Grand Theft Auto. And they don't give a fuck about now, but getting to the money and all the simplematic shit that you can see with your very two eyes, man. They don't look past the surface on nothing. They just eat shit, sleep, get up and play the game. Like avatars in a video game. That's where we at with it, man. People don't even take the time to zone out and think about something that ain't got nothing to do with some shit that came through their computer, man. It's like a disaster. 
you know, for real, but you know, real talk, man. Start more time, you know? Start more time, you know? But, you no know, doubt, man. We just up, 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 up to pray, you know what I mean? Just got to pray, man. I'm pray over here praying. I'm pray crying and shit, man. Pray. You got me crying. Man, yo, I love my Caribbean people, man, because y'all connected and you know all I mean? you know, Y'all be keeping it real, man. I appreciate you all the way. Wakanda yeah, forever, man. man. Wakanda forever, man. What kind, no, yo, I'm gonna holla at you later, man. Shaba, no doubt, man. Thank you. Man, Wakanda forever, man. Wakanda forever. Wakanda. Wakanda. Oh, my goodness. Hey, man, it is what it is. Dave Chappelle got the power to shut down anything when it comes to the comedian circuit because he knows bishops and senators, congressmen and noble people. If Dave Chappelle send out a blast, your house is surrounded. We're here for Dave. Like we didn't even dispatch that. It's crimes going on in the city. They don't dispatch. Dave don't dispatch the whole police force to his house. It's a shaky situation downtown. They don't know if they should leave Dave house because he arguing with his wife or go down and save Times Square, man. Like, I, I think I'm going to stay with Dave. Like You're going to be fired. Like oh, Dave will cut the check. And Steve Harvey and Cedric the Entertainer, I wonder if they even really cool like that. Cause I'm pretty sure Steve did some shady shit to said, but said ain't never gonna tell. Cause that's the whole point of being an entertainer, man. They prick your finger and you in the mob, nigga. Oh my goodness. There goes Sammy. That's what it is when you think about it, man. The music industry ain't nothing but the mob. Like, did they prick your finger? I see you prick. You got pricked, didn't you? I know you did. Come here. Got you in the movies. Got you in the clubs. Got you doing all this shit, man. Cat Williams, he like the Joe Pesci of comedy. Like, what you fucking say to me? I'm Cat Williams. What you say to me? Hey, Cat, Cat, calm down, man. Calm down. Oh, shit. Cat went rogue. Steve Harvey Black. What do you mean he went rogue? Ain't no rogue around here. We the mob. Tell him, come down to my office. We gonna talk it over. Talk it over now. Like, cat ain't returning my calls. Oh, shit. This nigga tripping. They got Eddie Griffin on the phone. I told you about that motherfucker, man. Somebody call Dave. Dave, man. Need you, you know, pull the job. Pull the job, Dave. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? It's Cam. What's up, brother? Happy New Year's, man. Yeah, it's February and all that, bro. Come on. <laughs> now, what you say? You go with you go with uh, Dave. What happened? What Cat William did? They came after him. He was quiet. He's very intelligent. He did his research on people. So he waited around. He got he got upset. It's like it's like it's like it's like it's like, it's like Steve Harvey stole with Joe, and he, and all his proof right there. I'm right or wrong. Man, all them jokes be corny anyways. It's like, man, who gonna get mad at a corny joke? That's what said had to be thinking like, look, I'm gonna shout you out by doing one of your corny jokes. The rappers do that shit all the time. Jay-Z be saying Biggie balls. They be doing Tupac balls. Just to, you know who balls they is, but they just do it to pay homage. Nah, you got it. Well, see what killed me? I saw on the Shay Shay, when I saw on the Shay Shay Club, it was a beautiful interview. It was really nice. Cat, Cat is very intelligent. And Cat looked out for a lot of people. All you hear good things about Cat. They say Cat was going to the club with new comics just giving thousands of dollars, giving money away. All you hear good things. Dave Chappelle did will address. You know that, right? I see. Y'all, see, I, I ain't mad at people loving Cat. But that's what it but is, I, man. my question. Did Dave Chappelle will address? He, Cat Williams, he was at the toilet with his booty out on Friday, man. Waiting for yeah, Big well, Damon. Yeah, yeah, Big Damon yeah, well, crunching him on his balls. He was crunching him on his balls. 
Yeah, but that was just that was just movie. They didn't really show it. He was going to take it. He was going to take it. He had to stop yeah, that man before movie. he took it. He was going to get he was going to get snatched. Yeah, but Cat Williams said on the Shay Shay Club, he deleted some of the part. He didn't um, oh, he didn't want to do the the, the the grape, you know what I'm talking about, right? The big Damon, That's why he didn't Damon do was it. chasing him all through the hood. All through the hood trying to get that booty. Tell me but what. But Dave Chappelle is corny. It's like Cat Williams showed up not, he, he sold out nine show. He got the dark matter. It's really good. It's funny. He's just a funny comedian, natural. And Dave Chappelle is getting corny, maybe getting older now. He half drunk on the stage. He dissing Cat, and people defended Cat Williams. He's an alcohol on the stage. He's not for feminism. He's just falling off. Oh my God. I'm right or wrong. Hey, man. I'm with you. You know, Dave, I ain't saying he falling off. He just landed in the wrong arena. If you're going to go at somebody, go at um, the dude that played Mrs. Doubtfire or something. Like, don't go at Thank Cat you. Williams. Like, you don't do the Dave, this not what you do. Cat on that Thank real you. time. You ain't, no, you ain't never been on that real time. Let Cat rock. Don't speak Thank on you. Cat. Did th Cat wasn't doing nothing. Cat just went when Shay she just let out. He just say, I, I don't mess with people. And all you had good things about Cat. All people say he's going to the show. He just gives people dollars and dollars. You ain't know Cat fix people homes up. He's a really a good brother. He's now he's a target now. He's we, we shook up fifty million views. Matter of fact, fifty four million views. He broke the he broke the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, man, he broke the YouTube and people are all about that Cat Williams, man. And he got a nice little run going on out here in these streets. Nah, you got it. And he and Steve Hardy is I, I never like him when he did to his first wife and his second wife. And everybody say he treated his workers like crap. You know, his tension, his credibility is going down and now. He man, as he um hey, what can we say? They did a comedy thing, a battle, but Steve Harvey lost and he quit. All I wanna know is where Stevie at. That's all I wanna know. With, with, with the fake hair, I didn't know. I didn't know that was a hair piece. <laughs> Shit, yeah, I don't know where Stevie at, but we gonna have to find out tonight, man. And I want to thank you so much for your phone call. And we don't want you to be no stranger. Make sure you call back the next time we go live and all that, man. Got celebrities calling up to the video. Nah, I know y'all jealous out there, man. Got love and hip hop legends on the phone and all that. I wonder if she's still nasty. Don't she got kids and all that? Oh, what the fuck is that nigga off the screen, man? No doubt. Yo, y'all give y'all show some love to on um, Jocelyn Hernandez and all that. <laughs> Yo, let's get back to this news too. Cause it's a few things I want to share with y'all. Reggie, go ahead and play that. Haters in the game. Everybody drawing all ugly pictures of us. Hey, yo, yo, did he say anything about, did he say anything about me? And Wreck TV. Yes, he did. And what did he say? Nothing bad. That he loves me and I'm awesome. And you want to know why he said that? Because I've been nothing ever but kind to this. And you can only say the same. And you can only say the same. I will never, ever hurt any of you and all these have taken shots at me because it hurts wow he, he he yo the saddest part about this he's losing his core audience with this shit because they ain't stupid they're like yo dave what's up with the program dude like what the fuck is he malfunctioning like what's going on with dave that's not what we fucking paid for hold on wait a minute dave i want to talk to you man that's not what we paid for what was that Oh, Samantha out here at you show you went on some rant like oh, that was cuckoo dude who's Cat Williams like, you had so much aggression you were standing up there like I was thinking about calling the fucking cops that's not the Dave I know that is not the Dave I know he would trip me out we went to a Dave Chappelle concert and he was all gangsta and shit like I've never seen Dave Chappelle like that ever since Half Baked he never did anything like that it's, it's weird Kept on going on about some dude named Cat Williams or something. I guess he's some type of gangster and it, it felt murky in there. He kept smoking a cigarette and it felt like I was in a den of thieves. Like I'll, I'll never go to another Dave Chappelle show. 
He blew it, man. His core fans is disgusted. Like, did you see Dave? And on the tank top, looking like DMX. Like, it was just so uncool. If he was in the black club, they would have beat his ass, yo. Like, oh, for sure. They would have ripped him to shreds. If he would have pulled that off in like a black, black club, like it would have been the end of Dave Chappelle. Would have dragged him out of the door. That dude, Cat Williams, he's like their savior now. Like no Dr. King, Malcolm X, no TD Jakes. It's just Cat Williams from now on. Like that's all they got. I hope they don't come to the St. Patty's parade. You know, you know they're gonna be there. With the weave down their backs looking stupid and shit. Like, oh boy, why don't they just find their own culture? I know y'all like hearing stuff like that, but I'm just being real with y'all. And Cat is not going to save the day. He's a comedian. And y'all going batshit crazy. And I'm loving it for the most part, but you know, sometimes I'd be scratching my head like, how long I'm gonna keep doing this shit, man? Oh I like entertainment like everybody else, but I do realize that all of this that you see when it comes to these celebrities is all entertainment, man. And they gotta find out foul ways to entertain people because people foul. Once upon a time, People wasn't as foul as they are today. So it was a certain standard of comedy that you had to uphold. And if you didn't uphold that standard of comedy, you was a menace to society, disturbing the peace. They would ban you and block you. It's absurd. It's obscene. Somewhere along the line, the morale started to lower for fast dollars and quick capital gains and parties and shit. And they just let people run wild, say what they want to say, do what they want to do. The hip hop culture, the, the heavy metal culture, all of that shit. They had to curb the toxic masculinity that was spilling from these movies and them records they was producing. It was giving people a false sense of manhood and it was disgusting. It was toxic. Men was feeling like they was Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator. They choose they liking Steven Seagal's men out here acting like menaces because they was influenced for some shit for the past 30 years. They had to soften the blow. And that's when they bought in the little Nas X's and shit like that, man. Just to be the medicine to curb the toxic masculinity. I'm talking about throughout the whole 70s, pimp movies and drug kingpin dope killing movies, gun movies, Western movies. They was pumping the masculine. They was feeding it to the male consumer like junk. And men was eating a gunk, 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 gunk. All of that, that toxic masculinity through the industry. They had to soften the blow. And that's how somebody like Cat Williams could be labeled the king of comedy, man. During that era that I just got done speaking about, that was the era where Bernie Mac truly reigned. Because if Bernie Mac would say the stuff that he was saying back then, now, it wouldn't fly. And on top of that, Bernie Mac said some jokes at the Obama banquet and they shut that shit down right then and there. When, when Obama came in the picture, Bernie Mac was no longer relevant anymore, man. And I talked about this on Docs Daily. At Obama event, comedian jokes fall flat. In Chicago, on Friday night, the comedian Bernie Mac, a longtime friend and supporter of Senator Barack Obama, a longtime friend and supporter, set out to entertain the crowd at 
$2,300 a head. Obama fundraising event where humor touching on issues like menopause and prostitution. $23 a head. Big wigs. Big money is if you small money is short change, you can't even come to the event. You got to put up that bread to get in the door. And Bernie Mac was the entertainer for the night. So, you know, they came up in there extra bougie and Bernie Mac shut the shit down, man. He told the raunchiest jokes. In his routine, Mr. Mac said Mr. Obama should watch the 2003 movie he made with Chris Rock about a black president head of state to prepare himself for the dirty tricks the opposition will play on him. If he wins the White House, Bernie gave that brother some real life game in front of all them people. Oh my goodness. From brother to brother to heart to heart, he didn't fake the funk because no senators and shit was there. He ain't fake the funk because it ain't have no regular Joes up in there. He wasn't on Def Jam saying that shit. He was in the, in the, I don't even want to say what I want to call it. He was in a different arena. I'll just say that. And he still defiled and defied like a black king. He said, we prophesized about you, brother. We knew it was going to happen. I was in the movie. We knew that we prophesized about this shit. Like I was there. I filmed the movie. I knew I knew that it was. I see the play. I see the play. I see the play. Just in case y'all thought I was stupid, I ain't ignorant. I'm the nigga in the movie that they made about the black president, everybody. Me, Mac Man. They was in there nervous as hell. Like Obama, I'ma tell you like this here. Your ass gonna have to look out for them dirty tricks. They gonna be playing on you. I was in the movie. Head of state. And that's all we were doing, filming all day, talking about what's going to be happening with the black president. And Mr. Obama felt uncomfortable, man. He said, people like rumors, Mr. Max said. They're going to say things like, you was at the club with Lil' Kim. Ain't that what they just did with Diddy? Oh my and T.D. Jakes? Damn, Mac already knew how they got down. Said so they're gonna say things like, you was at the club with Lil' Kim. Don't Lil' Kim be with Diddy? And you and Kanye West got into a fist fight. Didn't they say that Diddy beat on Cassie? You can't get upset. You gotta keep hope alive. Damn. So Bernie already, and by him saying that in front of all of them people, that had to make them feel real uncomfortable about shit. Real uncomfortable about having Bernie Mac around. But I think the reason why Bernie was even talking like that and being reckless is because he wanted to get out of the game, man. He wanted to piss them people off. He was trying to shake his way. That's like when you get drafted to the military or some shit. And they be like, oh, we can't take him because he insane. You get drafted, they accept you and everything. The only way you gonna break out is if you break code, man. You gotta be a nut. Shit, Monique, she wasn't acting like that until she did that movie and realize what was required of her and that's when she lost her shit like i ain't y'all ain't never said it was going to be like this when i crossed over to the other side i thought y'all was going to take care of me like no we got to work you in first you know you got to get broken in more oprah still using them old techniques in the modern era and these girls can't take it like, that's what we all do. What's the problem? That's how we do. That's how you got to do it. You got to get pimped out. What you, what you think? You just going to be a noble hoe? Oh my goodness. 
Like we all the shit I've been through, you don't think that you're gonna have to taste any of it to get to where I'm at? Bitch, please. Do you know what I, I didn't get paid for the first season of my show? They wasn't paying me for the second season of, they didn't pay me until the fifth season of my show. I was basically homeless. Nobody knew it because I was on TV, but I struggled. Like, man, my first movie, I only made $5. $5 for my first movie, man. I swear it was a $5 bill for the, the movie gross $2 billion and I still kept my $5 bill in the frame. It wasn't until my 15 film where they actually cut me a good check. That be them Hollywood stories, man. It's like working a regular job. And Taraji P. Henson complaining because she still ain't get a raise. Like I've been working on the factory line for 15 years and they didn't even give me a promotion. The math ain't math and I'm 55 and I only got five dollars to my name. The math is not math. In. And Dave Chappelle sitting on a big old bag of money acting like a spoiled brat because Cat Williams getting some shine. Hey boy, if you don't get somewhere and chill out, he act like Cat Williams did something to him. Like Cat punched him like, he acting like he Chris Rock and Cat is Will Smith, man. Like this motherfucker slapped me on stage, man. He want to retaliate with his comedy. Because Cat Williams it slapped him in his face when he said that he was a sellout. Like, I didn't sell out. They bought in. How you going to sell out when people are buying in to Dave? <laughs> Hold on. Go ahead and play that, man. And hurt people, hurt people. But I'm a hurt person that never hurt people. And he does it all the time. Not this one, not that one, this one. But think I did anything that you did wrong. He didn't do nothing wrong. Can't didn't do nothing wrong. Oh my God, that's how they be talking on the phone. And when they be around each other. They got to hear that shit all backstage. All day. That's how he be talking. And that's how he been talking. That, that's how Dave do. And they know that about Dave. They know he going to say how he really feel. But it'd be best to do that shit backstage, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with you feeling the way you feel. But you ain't got to tell it to the public. You should know better. And what man want to do some shit like that anyway? Tell your wife. Like, honey, this cat, he disrespects people and I don't like it. He said something about Seti. Like, oh, honey. You no, know, I don't like when you talk about people like said. I know what they've been through. I know it's hard to not be funny. And still be a comedian. It, it, you have to make it work, you know. You have to, you have to steal some jokes, you know. But as, as long as it pays the bills, he could have gave a whole spill to his wife about this. But instead, he got up on stage. We need Tasha K on this man and Cat Williams at the same time on this show, sitting across each other. Addition that Hollywood tea. That's the only way it's going to top Club Shay Shay, man. If anything else going to be but. you going to go on the camera on podcast looking goofy with Mace. <laughs> Yo, Cam, ask him. <laughs> ask Cat about the Shay Shay interview. Hey, yo, son, so when you sat down with Shannon Sharp, his shirt was all tight and all that. Did you see his nipples poking out of his shirt and all that? Like, I've never paid attention to another man's nipples. Not a day in my life, player. 
Not even my own. I don't even shave my nipples. Hey, yo, let, let us see. Let us see. Y'all niggas strange around here. Hey, yo, give me back the dip set chain. You disrespecting Mason all that on my show. I ain't disrespect nobody yet. Yo, get him out of here. Get him out of here. That shit might go viral. But as far as Dave Chappelle, he would never be allowed on Tasha K ever, man. She would make him feel very, very uncomfortable. Can you imagine the Dave Chappelle interview? He's smoking cigarettes all in her face, talking shit. Like, right, hold on now, hold on now. She start taking off her earrings. Like, wait a minute, bitch. He have a drunk rant on Tasha K and have to fight her husband. Who knows, man? But as far as these rumors going around about people like Steve Harvey and Marjorie Harvey really being related, y'all need to cut that nonsense out. Talking about Lori Harvey is Steve Harvey's actual daughter. And Cat Williams is ODB's uncle and all this weird shit going on out here, man. Shit, Cat was one of the original members of Bone Thugs and Harmony. He from Cleveland, Ohio, and all this weird shit going on. And Busy Bone stole his flow from Cat. They saying all types of just, they people just be running their mouth in the projects, man. They got rumors about Dave Chappelle that I don't like. They said D-Ray Davis used to be a girl and all that. And when he was on Snowfall, they called him by his birth name, which is Peaches. All these rumors in the street, man. Hold on, y'all. D-Ray. Yo, switch that up. Davis. Peaches. Look at that, man. What is Peach's real name in Snowfall? Jonathan Tucker as Matt McDonald, season two guest. Teddy's older brother, a Vietnam War veteran, and the pilot D. Ray Davis as Dijon Peaches Hill. So they call him by his middle name. When he read the script, did he know that they was gonna be calling him Peaches? Like I showed up to play Peaches, man. Like that's why I'm here. I want to do the interview. I'm I, I'm ready. I got the script. Like okay, Peaches. Let's see what you got. Well, my favorite food just so happened to be a peach, oh and I think I love the way it tastes. And it is definitely sweet. Like a Georgia peach is something that I would love to eat. Like okay, I think okay. We'll call you. We'll, we'll give you a call. We'll give you a call. Yeah, man. I, I went. Audition for Peaches, man. They they gave me the job, you know. I'm gonna be a nigga named Peaches on the show. And they say I'm gonna be a snitch, man. I don't want to be a snitch. Now you better be a damn snitch. He probably was on the phone with John Witherspoon when he got the role. What's this talk about you not wanting to be a damn snitch? Like, boy, you better get out there and snitch. I don't know, John, man. You know, then the nigga named Peaches. They want me to be a snitch. Shit, I like Peaches. Shit, Peaches good. The bitches like Peaches. You know what, Mr. Witherspoon? I think I'm going to go ahead and take the role, man. Man, he better not ever go to jail. Not looking like that. Better cut that man. He better stop this nonsense, man. Nigga named Pe I don't even like this type of stuff. A nigga named Peaches, man. Fuck out of here. And we all got love for D-Ray Davis, but he's standing on stage with Dave Chappelle when he going at Cat. He looking like the op right now, man. And I don't play about Cat Williams, man. He need to apologize for being with Dave Chappelle tonight when he went off on Cat Williams. Oh my goodness. And then we ain't gonna even be speaking about him no more, man. They want him to be Smokey Robinson. What's the dude from Coming to America? The old dude, James Earl Jones. They want him to be the future old black guy. 
Like it's me, D. Red Davis. Remember, I was on Snowfall. I, I, I played in all the major Star Wars movies. He ain't gonna blow up until he get old. They giving him a um, the Morgan Freeman deal. We can't take him young, but we can take a guy like that old. Like I'm just gonna do my time as a comedian and shit. When I turn fifty. That's when they talking about giving me the big roles. Who knows, man? But it is what it is. James Earl Jones part two. He gonna make his career on Audible doing the Bibles and all that shit. Like Genesis chapter one by D. Ray Davis. We gotta let him mature. Once he's matured, we can definitely put him to work, man. Lion King sequels, you David. Got to do my time, man. I'm just going to do my time. Yo, you got to love these black comedians, though, because they get out there they get on stage and they make people laugh. Like, what can you hate about that? There's nothing you can have. They doing better with, than what Tasha K been doing, man. And that's my sister. And I love her to death. But damn. She need to go to church at least. Every Sunday just to cleanse her sins before she hop back into the messy goo. How long she been swimming in that stuff? I'm concerned about her, man. That negativity ain't no good. It take a toll on you. She wake up every day like, oh shit, grab my phone. You got side bitches all in her phone. It's like, this shit is a mess. She be cooking her food, think about all them bitches. She be screaming like, these bitches, these bitches. I can't stop thinking about these raggedy ass bitches. Oh my goodness. Her husband worried about her. She be having ratchet moments and shit. She put her thong out her ass in the grocery store like, oh fuck it. <laughs> Like whatever it is, what it is, it's a dog and dog world, and best believe I know, honey child, it's a dog and dog world. You know what I would hate to see? They strip her of all of her glory, and they just throw her back out there to the slums, and debt to Cardi B, Kevin Hart. They don't did some old shady business, and she out there still with the gossip, but in the projects, man. They be like, oh shit, I live down the hall from Tasha K. Yeah, she in there talking to the fan. You could hear her out the window. She just be running her motherfucker. She don't be talking to nobody. She can't afford no phone. Man, I would hate this, man. We need to get Cat Williams up there because I want to see her be successful and I want them to get off her back and let her do her thing, man. She talented. People like watching her show. It's about what the people like. Let her do her thing for the people. Cause I mean, it ain't really affecting nobody's careers what she doing. They ain't got no careers no more. And if they did, they wouldn't be trying to sue her ass. I like Tasha K. She represents what sisters be for real, for real. She ain't got no filters. And you rarely see that publicly because people be wearing their filters and barely doing that. They be trying to wear a filter until some shit happened. And that's when they show their true colors. She don't fake no funk. It is what it is. If you don't like it, she love it. That's how people really be feeling. But people be wearing all these masks and being fake and phony and they, they be trying to make it be they want you to be comfortable and all that shit. I like a real chick like Tasha K. If she don't like you, you gonna know she don't like you. It's a lot of chicks like that, man. I I, I think that's honorable, man. Hey, don't fake it with me. Hey, you ain't got, man, look, you ain't got a lie to kick it. She'll get out there and do some dirty. Everybody know what she doing. She messy. It's dirty. She be pulling stunts. But that's what a lot of YouTubers is doing. Pulling stunts, man. I seen some shit the other day. These pranks. 
they be doing, they could lose their life doing these pranks on YouTube. They be walking up on people talking crazy and shit. Somebody pull out a gun and blow your brains out, and that's the end of your shit, man. People look, Tasha take a chance. And if she got to drag Kevin Hart or somebody like that, then hell. He just meet to the slaughter. Like, we got to serve these niggas up. Like, they got to go. I'm going to keep cooking until they shut my shit down. If they going to keep eating, I'm going to keep cooking. She got a slaughterhouse. She bring them niggas in for the slaughter, chop them up. Got Kevin Hart on the menu. Let's bust his shit down. Here go a rib, here go a thigh, here go an eye. We're going to chop this thing up. Season them saucy. We're going to make it real saucy. Going to season his ass up and serve him to the public. Just like this with a, a bottle of wine on the side. She'll take one interview, bust that shit down like 10 times. Got hams, tomatoes. We got Kevin Hart nuggets. She been doing that for years. She would take a brother. She bust down R. Kelly so well. She the reason why he in jail. Oh my she leaked private information that the court couldn't even obtain on R. Kelly. And now he in jail for the rest of his life because of Tasha came in. She would take a brother, chop him up, serve him to the public. And I still got love for her, man. Maybe it got something to do with the fact that she used to be juicy. Oh my goodness. Hey man, I'll be the first YouTuber to admit that I had a major crush on Tasha K. I will watch her videos on mute and just let her jiggle away. Oh my goodness. I don't never want to see nothing bad happen to her, man. She she a classic. Don't do that to Tasha, man. I don't know. I don't know what I could do to stop the situation, but I'm trying to get Cat Williams up there. That way, she'll be back on her toes. How you gonna hate that? Let's be real, y'all. I ain't mad at it. Whatever she talk about, it sound good. I want a hood rat chick, a project chick. And I ain't even gonna finish the song. You walk into the gas station, she up in there, like, what's your name, ma? My name Tasha, what? What you want? What you looking at? My face is up here, sir. Like, yo, Tasha, I'm just saying, like, you know, you know, you know, you know. I holla at you, you know, you can call, you know, hit me up, I hit you up or something. Where your phone? Where your phone? Give me your, give, where your phone? Give me your phone. My name Tasha, and your name? You could, it's Sean Blazerton, but you can put Sean in there. Okay, I'm call you. You gonna call? Yeah. A week go by, you be like, man, she ain't gonna call. Whatever, man. That chick at the gas station that was buying all them Fritos, she ain't gonna call. You get a call from Tasha. And where you at? It's Saturday night. I'm drunk. I finished my bottle of wine. What is up? Man, bring your ass up. What, 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 where you at? I'm gonna come get you. The wine old lady, man. America needs Tasha K, man. They can't cancel her for nothing. She cool people. A 17-year-old Diddy freak off. They need to stay. Y'all, they need to cut this shit out, man. All this stuff is straight goofy. And I feel like I invented the goof. YouTube wasn't as goofy before I came along. And I regret. Let me y'all don't understand, man. YouTube was never this goofy before I started making videos and you ain't got to give me my props. I'll take y'all down memory lane. They, <sighs> say what you want to say, man. Go to the oldest videos. This how goofy you this what I used to do, man. Zoom in on this. But seven years ago, Steph, I was doing basketball videos, videos. Stephen Curry sold his soul to the devil. All for those threes. LeBron James championship theory. 
Conspiracy theories. Did Solange give birth to Solange's kids? No, did Solange give birth to Beyonce's kids? Seven years ago, Ray Schwimmer is Michael Jackson's kids. Secret audio inside. Colin Kaepernick is Prince's son. Wasn't nobody doing no shit like this. And it went from basketball to more celebrity shit. The Drake, the Drake of vampire and all that shit. Straight conspiracy. And people was actually running with Michael Jackson and Gucci Mane is the same person. Beyonce is Charles Barkley's daughter. The truth about Remy Ma and Fat Joe. The, li the list goes on, man. What nobody? Beyonce and Jennifer Hudson Hollywood rituals exposed. The Migos and Shotters theory. How the Migos ripped off the Shotters movie. Young Dolph and Yo Gotti exposed before Young Dolph even died. Nicki Minaj and Raymond Simone is the same person. Steve Harvey, the, the, the Mexican Steve Harvey video. The Serena Williams, Mike Tyson eating chicken bones video. <laughs> the, I predicted Kawhi Leonard going to the Raptors before he even when he was with the Spurs. Man, the list goes on. For years, what no that's all I was doing. Bobby Brown said Janet Jackson turned him out. Sniff sniff video. <laughs> Tiffany had it snapped on cat what the list man. Takashi 69 is Michael Jackson's son. Jay-Z stole Beyonce from Matthew, Matthew Knowles. <sighs> Four years ago, five years ago, Gary Coleman and um, R. Kelly wife is the same person, man. The point I'm trying to make is YouTube ain't never been this goofy. And this, I feel like I feel guilty, man. I feel guilty as hell. It wouldn't even be possible for no shit like for people to actually click on some goofy ass shit like this, man. It's basically a comic book and people click in to see the comics of the damn celebrity celebrity comics. They'll turn your ass into a whole it's a comic book theory. They need to write me a check. But it is what it is, man. I'm just getting old. <sighs> Whatever. I feel like um Curtis Blow and Lil Baby out there rapping my song, man. I feel like KRS-1 and Jay-Z a billionaire, but I'm the one that invented his style, man. I feel like Rick Juan. When it come to all these new spitters out here. Like you, you rapping my flow, you, you doing my lingo, you doing all my shit, you making all this money, you ain't paying homies like you need, I'm your father, nigga, I'm your father, I'm your father. It'd be a New York rapper. Yelling outside the barbershop. Like, nigga, I should have been your father. You stole my style, stole my swag. Like, okay, MC Shan. So what? It was in the 80s, man. It was in effect. Magnificent, dope, crazy, stupid, man. They stole all my shit. They doing my song. They doing my dance. They wearing my chains. I invented it when I invented it. it was called funky stupid, man. They know it's funky. They know it's funky stupid. I know it's 2024, and I don't even care, man. My shit was funky stupid. All these young kids out here need to pay homage, man. I feel like one of them dudes. 
But to answer the question before I get out of here, matter of fact, let me show y'all some love before I even get out of here, man. Because I know there's some people still out there kicking it with me. Dave Chappelle dead wrong for um, going at Cat Williams like that. Somebody said, you sound depressed. Shit, we depressed together if you listening to a depressed person. Who part of the game is that? Said you need a hug. Shit, we need a hug. You here with <laughs> you here with me, ma? We all sad. What's she talking about? Obtivious Bank said he would go deep, then destroy it almost like cat. Is he talking about an ex-lover or some shit? What is he talking about? Is he talking about his past affairs? And I don't mean no disrespect on Tivius Banks, because you be holding me down and all that, but what part of it, what? He would go deep, then destroy it, almost like Cat. So Cat was the best, but this new dude, you know, he doing his thing. Man, keep your zesty conversations to yourself, bruh. This type of stuff ain't for public discussion, but thank you so much for leaving the comment, man. 12 said acting like they're so authentic when they be faking the funk. Anthony Michael said, yup, I know what you mean. My man make them quiet pay you. Your best friend is a prostitute or something, or is he like a male stripper or? My man make them quiet pay you like they got to put them freak offs. Diddy ain't going to hand you a check in front of the party. He going to wait till you get to the back. Do your thing with Cassie and that's when he going to pay you the money, man. Sean paved the way for the goofs. That's sad, but true. That's how I know I got to change my life, brother. I will not be immortalized as a goof. Or lame man that's why i kept it real with the title because i could have you know yo hello hello who this is man what up blaze man this is your boy oh oh man we got O in the building i know you got something good to say we all is brother if i wasn't talking about no cat going deep i was talking about your old videos they'd be funny you make some deep points but then you would just destroy it with just <laughs> the complete Oh, the, I get what you saying. Satire. Oh, okay, I get it. You meant like, you know, the videos really do be deep and have you thinking, but you know, I say some old bullshit and it's like, okay, you can't even take it seriously no more. Yeah, kinda kinda how cat did. You know, cat made some good points, Come but on, then man, he also can't. just said How you gonna take my shine and give it to cat? Oh my goodness. You, it's that all is love, disrespect. All the shit I, I don't been through, you gonna is. take all my glory and just give it to Cat Williams. Come on, man. Cat might have robbed you, to be honest. Oh Yo, you a know, comedians be stealing. Dave Chappelle, man, he don't cry. He don't crack a couple of my jokes. And a couple of, it be, I be like, damn, did I say it first or did they say it first? Because I be lost. A lot of times, man. I they always give the credit to whoever, you know, seen it first, made it popular. I think them comics be listening. Oh, for sure, man. They got people that, that you know, blog and mine the internet for different stuff. Especially the richer ones, you know, because they got more money so they can hire a bigger team, you know. And they would never leave a comment in the chat. You think Steve Harvey with the check mark going to say, keep rocking, young fella? Hell no. You think any of them dudes, D-Ray Davis or somebody, gonna give a thumbs up? That nigga gonna know I'm stealing his jokes. Nah, they, 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 they got too much pride for that. Dave Chappelle hit the like button, then he hit the thumbs down and lead the video like he ain't even, he erasing from his history <laughs> and go in his little den and start writing. Like this Sean Blazerton, he gets my mind, it just stimulates me, man. It, it takes me back, it takes me back. I mean, it do be a uh, celebrity stalking in the, in the chat. So I, I've been in the comments, you know, a few times. I, I just seen a lot of different people in there. Yeah, man. You know, they change their names once you spot them. But I've seen a lot of A-listers in the comment section before, man. So I know they be listening. Heard that. 
Did he fall asleep or something? What happened over there? What's going on, bro? I, nothing. It's just, I just make sure it's quiet when I call, man. I've been watching a long time, you know. You ain't finna cuss me out. <laughs> you a little too comfortable over there, though. It sound like you got your feet up, linked back and all that. I don't know how I feel about all that. Oh, man, I, don't, I don't know. It's the shroom talk. You know, I got the, the ambiance lighting and everything. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just, you know, chilling anyway. I ain't trying to make it zesty or that, but you're going to make it zesty, I'm sure. Oh, bro, that's the last thing I want to do. And by you even bringing up <laughs> zest, got me feeling suspicious about your whole little setup over there. It must be really zesty. Because I ain't say nothing uh, about that, but you did. I got to give up the talky dust, man. You know, I watched the show and a little bit leak off the TV, but it's, it's cool. So you said the talky dust from my show blew from the TV? Like my shit just dusty. Is that what he just said, John? <laughs> when you watch my show, it be talky dust. This shit so dusty over here. So my shit just raggedy. Nah, man, it's, it's that five star presentation, man. It just be that energy. You can't talk about certain subjects, you know, without without it kind of going to to, to 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 a certain level of spice, I guess you could say. So you saying that it gets zesty around here, and that's why you be watching the videos, cause you. Zzz, zzz, Zesty? Nah, I like the satire and, and your take on different, 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 you know, things that's going on. You be like, ooh, the, ze the zesty man on. Let's see what's going on, Sean Blazer. You have got your pom poms and all that, waiting for it to get real zesty. How you gonna nah, say yeah, yeah. that the temperature get hot with my videos and it gets that? Why would you even say that to another man? Wait, like, wait, what? We ain't in the steam. <laughs> this ain't the steam. <laughs> You think this the steam well, well, room? This ain't the steam room. What we doing, Sha? The temperatures. <laughs> talking about how the temperatures be rising and how you over there with the ambiance all zesty. I know I have to keep the lights a certain way, man, because cause the shrooms be affecting me differently sometimes. You said the shrooms? Yeah. So you be popping them butt, 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 shrooms, 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 shrooms. Nah, nah, I got like candy bars. I just put it, you know. In your mouth? What the f Hold on, bro. He on some Akinelli shit. Oh my ah, it's a, it's a chocolate bar, you know? A big you snicker. With, I, I, snicker with nuts. Nah, nah, nah pause. The, snick, the, snick, the, big, the, 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 pause, the big snicker with the nuts. So nah, just put it in like your the... mouth. He said he got the candy bar ones. Like you couldn't take yeah, it straight like up like a G. Nah, that shit tastes like dirty socks. I mean, it's, it's kind of rough going like down. Like the only way I'll up. eat it is if it's eat in a, a butter. candy bar. <laughs> nah, I, used to, I, I, used to, I used to put them on pizzas, uh, chili dogs, peanut on butter a, sandwiches. On a chili oh, dog, God. my G? Come on, man. Yeah. Pause. Pause. Huh? You don't put ah, you, there you, you go, only man. want it if it's on a hot dog or a snicker bar or something like that's the only way you gonna do it, man. Can't run Blazington over here, man. I can't say I can't, nothing. I can't <laughs> you need a hot dog or a snicker bar. That's man, come on, man. That's that New York in you, man. That's why New Georgia people be turning on you. I know, man. And I got love for my Georgia people, man. But you know, the difference is is what they don't like. But the stuff they be laughing at sometimes, I don't be thinking that shit be funny, man. I, I, it, it, it's kind of like localities have their own little thing sometimes. Because I didn't been a lot of different places. And sometimes it's just words or different slangs. or Like they be trying to be friendly with you, but it feel like they trying to bum a dollar off of you. And you hit them with the stank face like, hold on, bro, I ain't got no change. Oh shit, nigga, you bougie. You bougie. I ain't got, I got my own money, man. I got my own truck. I ain't come over here asking you for no money. How you gonna try to play me, man? Like, damn, I ain't know. <laughs> it I make die. you come I, off I, snobbish I, and all. I, I hate feeling snobbish. I don't know, man. I stay in Kansas City. It's bombs everywhere. I just, they ask for money. I just look them deep in their eyes, try to pierce their soul. Damn, that's yeah, cold blooded. Why would you do that? <laughs> shit. Yo, the it's last too thing. Many. Hey, nah, for real. Yo, it's too many here, man. Like, the, I ain't never seen yo, like it's the last epidemic. thing, the last thing you want to do, my brother, is look deep into the eyes of a bum. 
because you don't want nothing to transfer their energy to transfer to yours. Don't ever look no bum. Nah, I give I give them weed. Then I feel bad though, except like they gonna have the munchies and be hungry. But then again, it might spark some in them, like some creativity or something to want to do something different with their life. And that's what it's all about, doing something different with people's lives, man. That's why we appreciate you for your phone call, because by you calling in was definitely something different. And we hope that you call in again, too, man. So much love for you. We going to holler at you later, man, no doubt. And them shrooms had that man tripping, and I'm going to let him enjoy his little ride. And when he calmed down, he could hit the like button and leave a comment, man. And I want y'all to hit the subscribe, too. I'm about to wrap this thing up. <clears throat> I made this video because I heard some rumors in the hallway in the projects about Tasha K and Cat Williams allegedly working on the interview and it got shut down by somebody major in Hollywood and I'm thinking one of the only people that could really shut it down is Dave Chappelle he got deep pockets man if he wants you off his case he could move on you. Ain't nobody seen Cat Williams. Where's he at? Where's the sequel? TMZ ain't catch up with him. He ain't been spotted in the airport. What is going on with this man? He on tour right now. Nobody got no drops. Has he been silenced? Is they trying to? Is he speaking on these people during his sets? Cause I ain't heard nothing about Cat since the interview, man. It got me wondering if they put a muzzle on his ass and put the pressure on him and got him up out of town. Somebody got to make a move. And they already acting like wolves. Dave Chappelle on stage foaming out the mouth, acting like he ready to attack. And Cat ain't never did nothing or said nothing or mentioned his name. He want to fight another man's fight. Like, let me have him. Like, damn, that's how you feel, Dave? You want to fight another man's fight, even though you ain't got nothing to do with this? Shit, that goes to show how he really feel. He want to maintain the status quo. Because the last thing he want is for people to rear their ugly head at him put him on a damn Tasha K chopping block and bust him down like how she trying to do Kevin Hart man she'll serve up a, a mean Dave Chappelle apple pie them shits would be selling like patty pies and he know it like have you heard the rumors about Dave Chappelle and how he really look I ain't gonna speak on his wife or nothing like that but it can get crazy. You got to draw the line somewhere. You can't let people run rampant and continue. Because if you do that, it's going to get out of hand. And Dave Chappelle looking like he's trying to bring some order. Because he know how out of hand it can get. And if it go that route. And people stop being interested. And he become a a damn schmuck in society. Them looks in their eyes don't glare the way that they used to because they heard the rumors. The fans don't flock to them the same way they used to because they believe in some rumors that came from Tasha K. They don't want that to happen. The sales is gone. People gonna stop watching the movies. Okay, let me make my point a little further before I get out of here. I'm going to do this one time and I'm going to do this one time. Man. Just like I said, I made a lot of corny videos back in the day. So I got to overcompensate by keeping it real. And Cat Williams is perfect for me at this time because if people want some real, that's what I do. Okay, y'all need to see this. It's going to be worth the wait. Yo. OJ Simpson has some movies under his belt. Like he was out there doing them, um, them top gun movies. 
he been in a, a couple of flicks that was like blockbusters, the towering inferno, um, the diamond mercenaries, the, um, Cassandra, these big time Hollywood movies in the seventies, um, Capricorn one, he was a football Hollywood star. They loved OJ Simpson, man. Firepower, the naked gun, classic movies. That's where they get the scary movies and shit from. He was in the sequel. Um, no place to hide in 1992. Naked Gun 3. Yo, what the fuck was this about? This looked like some shit that happened in real life. Simpson star with uh, Chris, whatever, and a young Drew Barrymore in this thriller mystery about the death of a teenage ballerina and the sister she's left behind who becomes a target herself. It is the stuff Oscars are made of. Probably not, but you have to give OJ Simpson props for getting in on another movie with some pretty decent ladies. So he was in a seri in a killer slasher movie. Then he was in this shit. So that was his last movie, but still he had a career as a movie star. When the last time you ever seen any of these movies promoted, you won't see these shits on Tubi. They ain't got it on the, the old school channels. You can't find none of this on stars. You're not going to find these movies playing nowhere. It ain't going to be on the um, the Vizio app or none of that stuff. Yo, Reg, answer that on um, phone, bro. I don't know. Yeah, answer that. No doubt. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, we need you to cut that off in the background. Pretty, pretty, please. Oh, okay. No I'm doubt. sorry. It's all good, ma. No, I, no doubt, no I, doubt. Yeah, I called you to, to let you know that it's so real to hear some real things in this world today. And I'm watching um, with, uh, the little Kim and and what you're saying is so positive. And she, she I mean, she's like another Tara Henson. She didn't get all her props. I'm calling because I'm looking for the button where you say for subscribe and I don't see it anywhere. Oh my goodness. You're going to have to call customer service for that, Ma. And I ain't trying to be mean about it, but that's an old video that you're watching. And I ain't did that in months. That video is old as dirt. <laughs> and I'm doing a brand new video, giving people okay. new quality, new it. meat, new it. information. I'm giving people new stuff. And you Jesus. called in yes, on an old yes. video. And then you didn't even subscribe to the channel. But one thing for sure, I love you to death, my sister. Because you the realest yeah, of the realest, man. Look, I'm a senior. Oh, I'm man. A I know it. <laughs> and that's why I got love for you, man. Because I respect people that respect me man so i'm gonna let you know what's going on man okay so yeah. when you subscribe to the channel mm -hmm. it's usually under the video you just scroll past the video a little bit and then it's a subscribe okay. button right there you know okay. you just gotta okay. keep scrolling down and then they say, you know, you can subscribe or whatever. Just hit that button okay. and then hit the notification button. It's like a little bell next to it. Hit the bell. Okay. It, yeah. So you would know when I'm live and that way you can call in when I'm live and everything. But I do appreciate oh, wow. your call. I, I, would, I, I, would, I, I would love that. I would love that. Like I said, I'm a senior. I'm a little bit, you know, um, a little illiterate to like, you know, the technology with, you know, stuff like that, you know, but it's okay. But I, I know how to, sub, you know, press a button and describe something and pay for it or whatever. But it was nice talking to you. And I am definitely going to, you know, 
try to find that straw now and hit that bell. Yeah, man. Hit the subscribe and hit the bell. And that way, when I go live, you will get the notification mm -hmm. and you will be able to call and tune in and all that good yes. stuff, man. But well, let me get my, let me get all my senior friends in, okay. in our senior partner building. Oh, man. Yo, that's all I need. Yo, hand out so them we flyers. Stay up all night. We don't think we stay up all night oh, long. Man. Now, now we, we, know, we know. Now we got something to be nosy about. Now yeah, we can man. talk about. <laughs> and you know I got a couple of channels, man. We got SAT, we got Docs Daily, so it's a couple of channels that y'all need to get up on, okay. man. Real talk, okay. no doubt. Okay, listen, are you for, are, are are you in California somewhere? No, I'm out here in Georgia. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe you're trying to hook okay. up on the live and all. What the hell is going on right now? I can't believe you over here trying to get my digits. It's dollar sign <laughs> Sean Blaze Docs. <laughs> And um, you know, whatever we like the type of money that jingle, but we rather had the type of money that fold. I know that's right. In the name of Jesus, and we nothing got, wrong with that. We got t-shirts too, and we coming out with the new cups. And I don't know if you still wear the Rona mask, but we got a few of them coming out too. Okay, yeah, we do, we do, we do, uh, it, we do, we only because of you know the Shea flu and, and I know bodies here. It, it, you know, I mean, it's just yeah. ain't as strong, you yeah. know. And we got the shea butter with the incense too. Dollar okay. sign, dollar sign. You know what? I love you to death, Ma. Make sure you call back the next time we go live. Real I talk, am, a, no I doubt, man. I love her to death, yeah. <sighs> I can't do it. But I can't do this shit no more, man. This gonna be the this shit. This the straw that broke the fat man back. I ain't coming. I ain't man. I ain't gonna do it. You tripping? How long? How long, man? How long I'ma keep? That shit, man. Oh man, don't be acting like that. Yo, pack all this shit up, man. Going back to my mom's house. I refuse to do another one of these. Matter of fact, take the phone number off the screen. Tripping, Blaze. I ain't tripping, man. You know what, man? I'm about to just go ahead and handle my business. And I appreciate y'all for watching. I hate I gotta be a sour patch kid, but that lady, she had me wiping her mouth and I ain't no nurse aid, man. Y'all need to get y'all aunties. I'm gone. I don't know when I'm gonna go live again. All I know is I want to see Tasha K and Cat Williams <laughs> do an interview, man. That's all I care about. Tasha K and Cat Williams need to do an interview. She'll pay off all her debts and he'll do more numbers than the Shay Shay interview. That's all I'm saying, man. And hit that, who hit the cash app? Let me show y'all some love, man. For all the people that um hit that cash app, I'm about to get y'all the shout out, man. Demetrius Bright, doing all right. Derek Rochelle, doing so well. Samuel Gordon, Lauren Gammon, Humble Waters, Cynthia Collins, Centel Moss. Man, thank y'all so much for them cash ads, man. I really do appreciate that. I'ma holla at y'all on the next video. subscribe